This is where the magic happens. Where you can ask anything. Don't be shy. In fact, the more intimate, the better. From matters of the heart to all your juicy parts, anything goes. Oh my God. Because Mo knows. Yes, Mo knows. Mo knows. Oh, Mo knows. Check one, two. Just one, two. Check one, two. Just one, two. Broadcasting live from Manila, Philippines at the Smart Bro Studios, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by San Mig Light. Oh, yeah! And here he is, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. All right, welcome to the show. It is a Thursday night on the podcast again as we give it to you one more time. Yes. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to do like a girl boy, girl boy type of thing here where we uh, guest a female, a male, female, male. And today we have probably the hottest female to uh, come to the show. Yes, and I do have not forgotten you, Rufa. <laughs> <laughs> On the show today, Diana Manessis. Diana, welcome to the program. Thanks for being here, dear. Hi, Mo. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Now, you and I, we know, we've known each other. For a long time, but we never really we never really talk. Yeah, that's true. When that's we see true. each other, right? And like, I know you're good friends with people who are friends of mine and stuff like that. But when I see you, it's always hi, hello. Never really had a conversation with you before, and now we're gonna have the most intimate of conversations. Yeah. So there you go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Do that in slow motion, Gan. What's the, what does it look like from here? She's oh. she's here beside me, Mo. <laughs> good see, lord. I can I can I have the front seat. <laughs> I know, yeah. so nice. Mm-hmm. Diana Manessis, of course, you're on uh, Eat Bulaga, right? Yeah, I'm in Eat Bulaga and I'm also doing um, a show in TV5. It's called My Darling As Wong every Sunday. And of course, people people know who you are naturally, um, but um, yeah, they do. <laughs> but the thing is, it's it's that Brazilian, that Portuguese accent, but the, you know, it's just, you're just, you're all that. And I think a lot of people are, um, well, let me get rid of this background music here real quick. It's gonna, <laughs> yeah, I it's know, right? Fucking, it's kind of fucking me up. A lot of people are aware that there's an there's a like a a, a a revolution of Brazilians coming into the country um, and and that's not just our country it's probably worldwide because you guys are the best looking people on the planet well that's not true that's fucking true and no don't lie to me. if you go to Brazil that's not true everybody's like just ordinary that's what I wanted to ask you are you guys all just walking around we, un- unbelievably beautiful or w- no, what's the deal no the thing is uh, you guys met the, the models that that's why they came here because they're beautiful because they're mm-hmm. models they should have some looks you know yeah so that's why you guys have the impression that every Brazilian is beautiful but no 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 we're just like anyone else you know like yeah, but okay. Why is the world's supermodels, the top supermodels, all Brazilian? Oh yeah, that that one I have to agree with. You. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and then, it's a, why why does the best ass in the world belong oh, to Brazilian ass? Oh, okay, that's a history. Okay, we were there's colonized. Historic, yeah, there's a history. There's a political yeah. line there up is. to why you guys have awesome asses. You want me to go that? <laughs> well, first, that we need, first, first we need to see it, and then we have to agree. Oh no, just, my like, gosh! No, just on, tell me what's what's the my historic, friend will kill me if yeah. I show that to you. And why, oh, you have, you have a boyfriend now? No. And why it's but called I know Brazil. You are. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, I don't Not have. your boyfriend. No, <laughs> your, I, no, uh, boy. you know. Uh, oi, oi. <laughs> what's this? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just um, how does, how is there a historical, political link to how Brazilians okay. have awesome asses? Um, we were colonized by Portugal and yes, then yes. Um, we had Africans slaves. So, the Africans, they're black and they have this big butt, you know, and they <laughs> <laughs> go straight to the point. They are very, they, the, their body is really, uh-huh. really strong. And apparently, the Portuguese, the, the, the rich ones, yeah. they, <laughs> they mingle someone, with, yeah. the, with the slaves. Yeah. Which became us, you yeah, know. Yeah, but that's what uh, that's something like that. <laughs> that so they mix. So the, it's a good mixture of genes. It's yeah, yeah. definitely yeah, perfect mixture of genes. But that's what that's what the <laughs> Africans did with with the Americans and all that stuff. I don't see American ass like that. It, it, I think there's like so like the Puerto Rican ass is like that, but I don't see it with the with the thing. So, it's, it's just like dogs, mo. You know, you you know about it. Dogs. Are we still you talking about it? dogs from yesterday? Yeah, you Can't mi- you get fucking over that, please? <laughs> you mix please? it. Now, my question is, why did you call it Brazilian? Which one? The, yeah. the, 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 the oh, one. the the, mm-hmm. the pubic. Thing. Yeah, why? Because in Brazil, it walks everything. So like, yeah, I guess I don't know. I honestly don't know. It is everybody. It's normal. It's normal for us. We don't just j- go and shave. You know, just going. So everybody walks. is. No, no, not the man. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't go checking are, are everybody. You, are you? Do, do you have the do you have the Brazilian wax currently? Yeah, and, I and, always do that. And that's as how in, you you're bare as a baby. Yeah, yeah, bare as a baby. Mo? Oh my gosh, why am I talking about it? Mo? How about you, Mo? What Mo. am I? No, you know <coughs> you're what Filipino. <laughs> I'll be honest. I just get I get like a, a, a scissor and I just cut around it just so it's not long to make my penis look small. Oh my god! <laughs> like I, I need to make it as look as big as possible. We all know, as we've said, that if you want to get your penis looking bigger, you have to shave. So why'd you oh. do it? Is no, that I don't. It? Sh- I don't shave all. Yeah, fuck yeah. That's the only reason why I do it. I do it so I can look like I have a bigger dick. Now, um, I could never do the all bare pubic area. That that's that for me. That's not cool. And I've always liked. If a girl had just a little bit of hair, yeah, yeah, that, that is. It. I on heard what, about it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Little bit? I don't, I don't like on the what, su- I don't on like a small the, patch or. What, I don't, yeah, I don't thing. like the super bare. I think because it makes me feel like you're a seven year old. Well, it's cute. It's like you're a virgin. I'm, not, I'm only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Diana, <laughs> we'll know eventually. No, it, here's the thing. What? No, no, it, it's, it's it's it's. I'm getting used to it though. Like I, I'm oh. okay. It, it, when I first saw it, when I first saw the Brazilian, the bear thing, I'm like, oh my god, is what are we in, are we in grade school? But now I'm actually warming up to it, and, and it's kind of cool. No, to be honest with you, yeah. like um, in Brazil, they don't really go all the way bare. But like since I'm in the Philippines, and then it's very common for them. Yeah. And I'm a model, so I really have to take care. I'm not, I'm not yeah. <laughs> posing nude and showing yeah. the, you know. Yeah, right. But it's just for me, parang okay, let's try it out. Mm-hmm. So I tried it all the way. So and, and so, how many? So it just, feels clean, you know. It's yeah. not like I don't like the hair there. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, whatever you want. <laughs> I'm fine with now. All right. Phone number 659-6969. That's 659-6969. Everybody who calls the show gets a Philips MP3 player go gear courtesy of tradeport.com.ph. This is mailed to your house. We're getting a lot of thank yous already from the listeners that uh, received it. You're very welcome. And thank you for supporting the show as everyone has um, today. Again, wow. The stats are awesome on iTunes. We're now the number four show in the U.S. um, In the United States of America. The number four show in our category. We're not just the number one, two, and three show in the Philippines. Of the top ten episodes downloaded on iTunes, nine of them belong to this show. Meaning, wow. there's one fucking person <laughs> who downloaded something else. And that's fine. But thank you for all of this. Now, this uh, podcast is brought to you by San Miguel Light. Um, the uh, low-calorie beer, 100 calories only. And this is powered by Smart Bro. We have a phone system here. Six lines. All of them are full. They're ready to go ahead and ask questions to Diana Meneses, who's here. Diana will interview you a little bit. But what it is here is we're going to take advice calls. You just give your two cents on every issue that people uh, have. Are okay. you good with that? Sure, All right. Sure. Now, talk into the microphone there real quick, love, because... Uh, if they if they trust me, yeah. I love that. I love that accent. But let's, let's go ahead and let's uh, ask... Let's get some questions here. How about we go to uh, Jonik, who's 21 from Quezon City. Jonik, you're on the show. Welcome to the podcast. What's up? Hello. Yeah, hi. H- how can I help you? Uh, I have a question for Dr. Gan. Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, is it difficult to have a relationship uh, when you're in med school? Tapos yung girl, hindi siya sa medical field? Um, no, it's, it's not. Um, relationship in med school, it's all dynamic. It's all up to the, the persons. Did you have a relationship when you were in med school? I, uh, I'm not yet. Uh, no, no, no. Again, I, yeah, I did. You did, and w- w- did you also? Were no. you also single during med school? Yeah, I halfway. Okay, so halfway <laughs> during the first half. What's you, halfway single? Yeah, well, halfway, halfway through med married. school. I'm no, sorry, sorry for no, interrupt, but <laughs> halfway I got married. Oh. Okay, so w- w- did you get better grades when you were single in med school than when you were taken? It's all the same. It's all the same. You, you know, I'm consistent. Oh, so you're saying? If you're inspired, right? Then. Makes you study because well, the difference is she's also a, a doctor. Ah, okay. And you can practice anatomy on her. Yeah. I mean, like I learned, I learned this about the vagina today. May uh. I see? And then, and then, <laughs> yeah. And then Di- here comes Diana swinging through the room, shaving it yeah, all off, and then running. Because that's, the <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. that's the best way to learn, you know. That's right. Get a course. partner. First-hand then, you know. experience. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, um, Johnny, are you in? Are you going to go to med school? I'm entering med school next year. And you have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. I just, I just want to know what to expect. It's going to be very difficult if she doesn't understand because um, med school will take most of your time. Oh, what's her What's her course? I think it's just because we're career driven. Then yung kanya law school naman yung kanya. So mm-hmm. I was thinking. Wow, you know what? Uh, law school and, and medical school. I have no idea how you guys gonna pull off a relationship successfully. I'm not telling you to. I'm not telling you to uh, to break up like I tell every caller who calls the show. <laughs> but I'm gonna say. Good luck 
hang in there, but don't let your studies suffer, both of you. You're too young to kind of mm-hmm. veer yeah. off into the relationship when you're in such a big responsibility, which is medical school and law school. Those are huge, huge responsibilities that cost a lot of money, and you don't want to fuck around by... Uh, by getting involved in in like fights and, and anything that might take your focus away from these most things. of the, most of the problem that um, these people encounter is the lack of time with each other. Yeah, all that's right. That's true. Yeah. I had I had a lawyer boyfriend before. See. That was my first boyfriend. See? And he, he didn't, didn't work out. So what's he, his he excuse? Didn't give you for time? four years. He didn't give you time. Well, <laughs> I couldn't wait for him. <laughs> I left. Him. Johnny, if your girlfriend if your girlfriend was Diana Manessis, would you quit? Would you quit medical school? I quit med school in oh. America. Yeah, <laughs> fucking okay, nice. right. Hi, are you still single? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, thanks for the call. All right, bye bye. Now, now, Diana, boy, boyfriend, how are we at here? So okay. many times you're linked to Sam YG at on uh, Magic eighty nine point nine, good friend of mine. Mm. Um. But when I when we ask him and stuff like that, it's always oh no no we're just friends. Uh, do you jump from boyfriend to boyfriend, or do you just date around and then never really settle down into a real relationship? Well, what's the what's the deal? Okay, I'll tell the right, the real score between me and Sam. Well, tell me There's about nothing. you. Yeah, uh, well, I know that honestly, you guys... like I, I'm not being plastic or showbiz, yeah. but um, yeah, I dated him. Yeah, that's okay. true. That, but that's it. That was it. Now you you just does that as far as you go here, or do it you doesn't mean like that I jump from one guy to another. Because uh-huh. honestly, uh, for the three, it, well, this is my fourth year here in the Philippines, and yeah. I only dated two guys. Okay, okay. So I had not... one boyfriend, and then Sam YG. It's just because a lot of guys, a lot of guys uh, text me, call me girls. They ask me, oh, this guy wants to date Diana Manessis. Do you know if she's going out with Sam? That's 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 the question I get a lot, People and I'm like, think I... I'm with Sam, but I'm yeah. honestly, yeah. I'm not. I wonder why do they pass through you, Mo? Yeah. Well, because I'm well. If you knew again, Sam mm. and I are on the same oh, radio okay. station, so yeah. we're kind of like brothers. Mm-hmm. So people, instead of asking Sam and he become a magadit lang siya kasi yung girlfriend niya si Diane, oh, well okay. they think it's girlfriend yeah, niya si Diana. They go, Mo, what's what's the deal? Because I want to court her, and that's what oh. it is. So, wow, sinio, hindi ko alam, hindi ko alam naman yun. Mayaman yun. Oh my god, ay talaga alam ko yun. Yeah, sabi ko siya. Okay, here we go. Cecil, who's 28, Cecil, you're on the show. What's up, Cecil? Hello. Yes, hi. You're on the program. You have a question for Diana Manessis, who's here today. Yes, hi. Good evening, Mo, Diana, and Doc. Hi. I'd hi. like to ask Diana if penis size matters. And can we just jump off the kidding. building now? It's can not we... dogs, Mo. It's not dogs. It's horses. Can we just kill? Our... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can we just kill ourselves? But no, no. Honestly, no, no. As per your question, um, I don't think size matters. I think it matters what whatever the guy does with you and how you feel about him. And yeah, you have to play before you do anything else. It's really? not okay. really about the size, yeah. you know. Because sometimes they're big, but they cannot even. They don't want to take a say. They don't want to what, love? What'd you say? They don't want to what? <laughs> Turn around. Don't, don't, don't do it. They don't want to no, what? No, no, no. They don't want to take a swim? Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. Ah, he didn't take a swim. because you know how much blood is needed for a big penis like that? You're going to get lightheaded. Oh, yeah. But if you don't, uh, yeah, the okay. girl will feel really bad. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Cecil, All right. uh, are, are, you, are you disappointed in the penis sizes that you've been seeing in your, in your time? Well, not really. But then, because they say that Filipinos... Don't, don't, are not that well endowed. Can you, can you stop fucking reminding me? <laughs> Filipinos are okay, guys. Are um, okay? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I okay, don't know. one more thing though. This is scientific. Okay. Diana, I, I saw this on research. I read it. Uh. This is my life. Penis size is my life. Wow. <laughs> the smallest in the world, Indians. Uh oh. Yeah. So that's. Uh, why. Well, I I won't comment on that. 
<laughs> what a great Sam. A very good evening to you. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's going to kill me if I say anything but, about right. it. It makes, right. it makes you wonder just, why I, Indians have, you okay, know, okay, but, but in, population. In, in, in bed, though, one to ten, how, how was he? Oh my gosh! I'm serious. Yeah, no, really. Come on. No, no, no. I, I cannot. I can never do that. I can never say that. No, no way. But I just can't tell you that. Oh my gosh! Brazilians <laughs> are. <laughs> Brazilians <laughs> are just like. Cecil, thanks for the whoa. call. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, bye bye. Thanks, man. Woo! Six five. Oh, nine. there's a there's someone who said Philippines will do everything to please their partner. Yeah. Yeah, that's, but that's, be- that's that's because we have no confidence in our penis size. Mm-hmm. No. No, no, we have, say no. that more. No, Diana, Diana, listen. No, we have confidence mm. in our mouth ability and maybe our tongue prowess. But when it comes to penis size, we know we're behind the 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 the, uh, the world average, mm. and we have to make it up somewhere else. I think I'm sorry, but I heard that. I yeah. haven't tried it yet, but uh, I heard Chinese are even smaller. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 you keep I, on I, telling I honestly me, don't know. But you keep on telling me to to um yeah, Gan is, Gan is Chinese. Yeah. He's Chinese Filipino. So he has the no, worst of all. You look at it. You're, two two you're, races, I, but these people are you know expanding. Well, They've got too many populations. That means you know they're they're using their dicks properly. Yeah. All right. right? And, and, yeah. But but you know. Oh. So. <laughs> Tiny. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go to more calls. Here we go. Let's take uh, MJ, who's 19 years old, Paranyaka. MJ, you're on the show. Hello. Hi, what's up? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just wondering. Uh, this is about sexuality. Okay. Are you a boy or a girl? Uh, boy. So you're a gay guy? Yep. Yeah, okay. Are you, you sounded like a girl, so I was kind of... All right. Anyway, what do you got, MJ? Yeah, uh... I Mer- had best friend before. Yeah. So we got pretty close. Tapos, ano, paano mo ma consider yung isang guy na kung straight ba siya or bi or gay? Tapos, kasi may nangyari na sa amin. But then he's gay. Pero, wow. MJ, MJ. Automatically. Yes, yeah. automatically. If a guy, if you don't know if a guy is gay or not, and then you go ahead and he gives you a blowjob, he's gay. Mm-hmm. But uh, does he go? Uh, does he go with two girls also? Yeah, that's it. Uh, parang no, 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 no. Nagkaroon no. siya ng girlfriend. Oh, yeah, MJ. When you say may nangyari sa inyo, tell us more. What happened between the both of you? Uh, all the ways. Okay, he's gay. Okay. Yeah. That's gay. You know, that's it. I mean, you're a gay guy. You have a guy friend. You don't know if he's gay or not. You guys have full on. To the finish line, sex that makes him a gay guy. Maybe he's trying to imply that perhaps his partner is bisexual. It's the same thing. Yeah. He's, still, he's, still he's still gay. gay. Is it the he's same thing? Because like here in the Philippines, they try to show, like especially in this business, like in modeling or in you know TV, they say there's this bisexual, this straight guy who goes with the gay, but then they're not gays. For no, me, no. like no, no, no. Once in, you, you know, go to the others yeah, to the same still, sex, mm-hmm. gay kana. Yeah, 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 right, right. Pero there are there are differences that way. Right? No, no. Once you put another man's penis in your hand by choice, you're gay. That's my definition. Yeah. Now, is okay, the, okay. So if a girl kiss another girl, is she a lesbian or is she just trying out something else? It depends. If she's like completely like making out with the girl, I don't want to say maybe lesbian. See, with a girl, it's different because you guys have so much emotions involved. Like you get attracted uh-huh. by each other's body parts. We don't do that. Like I don't go up to a guy and go shit parenga then put more. You guys do that. So there's the, you guys, you guys, <laughs> he <that>. laugh. <laughs> no, really, you guys do that. Diba? Oh, then boobs more. Diba? You, well, I would never say that to another man. So. Um, yeah, really? I would consider it lesbian behavior. I don't want to go ahead and call them lesbians right away. But with guys, if you put another man's dick in your hand, mm-hmm. you're a gay guy, wow. period. No questions asked. If you put another man's penis in your ass, in your case, uh, MJ, you're a gay guy. Uh-huh. Dude, gay. I do physical yeah. examination. Yeah, you're, you do. Uh, anyway, is, that's your question, right? Doc, what's the problem? Is that the question? How do you know? Yeah. Because until now, in a group of friends, we parang dinidebate pa rin namin kasi parang hindi namin siya pinapaniwalaan pero yung ano pa yung catch dito alam ng girlfriend niya na no, so may nangyari yeah. sa inyo yung dalawa oo and well, hindi lang siya once twice more sobrang tagal and even while okay MJ guys, MJ MJ yung, we're just gonna extend the phone call that we answered a long time ago he's gay kung, kung nangyari maraming beses na you guys are having sex you're a guy he's a guy you're having sex no problem he's a gay guy that's it okay oh. Okay. All right, that's it. Question answered. Thanks yep. for the call. Bye bye. Thank you. 
Oh, let's take oh. a next call here. Um, Sam, who's 27. Sam. Sam? Is Sam there? No? We lost her? Sam said she sleeps with a celebrity as, mm-hmm. a, as a fuck buddy mm-hmm. and uh, wants to know what's uh, the future for that. All right. We'll, 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 we'll get, try calling back, Sam. That was a good, that's a good call. Yeah. Dexter, who is uh, 27, Las Piñas. Dexter, you're on the show. Diana Manessis is here. What do you got? Hello. Yeah. 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 Uh, I want to share something. Go. Uh... <laughs> I have an ex. You have a what? Ex. ex yeah. And uh, <laughs> nagigita pa rin kami. Okay. <clears throat> and then we do have sex. Okay. Right? <clears throat> and Dexter, I'm so fucking bored with you. You better hurry up with, with some energy or something like that. Or hang up. Alright. Uh, meron siyang boyfriend and meron din akong girlfriend. And then we both... Uh, Okay, we get it. You still have sex. You're, you're mug ex. You still have sex even though you guys both have... You guys are in relationships. What's the question? Uh, the question is... Uh, okay lang ba yan na... What do you think, Dexter? Uh, what do you think? That you're in a relationship with another girl. She is expecting loyalty. She's expecting hmm. faithfulness. And you're going ahead and you're still having sex with your ex. Your ex is in a relationship that's expecting the same. And you guys still meet up and you still have sex. What do you think? Do you think that's okay? Well, uh, if your girlfriend right now, the girlfriend you're with right now, tells, calls this show and you go, oh, that, that's my girlfriend's voice. And she goes, I'm in, a, I'm in a relationship, but yet I'm having sex with my ex-boyfriend. Do you think that's okay? What are you going to feel? Mm, siguro, uh, pa rin. Yeah, no, 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 you're not. Don't, don't lie to us <laughs> like that. Listen, Dexter, why, why did you break up with your ex-girlfriend? Uh, a misunderstanding. Okay, and then why didn't you fix it? Actually, we the fix it. Eh. We yeah. just have uh, uh, something na, and siguro na miss lang. Okay, Dexter, both of you are not ready for a new relationship. Both of you guys may, may not even be ready for your relationship. Just, I, I, you're, you're, both of you are cheaters. Go ahead and break up with them because this, this is no, there's no future in the relationship you're in unless you get over the relationship that you just lost, okay? Okay. And then you're just hurting people's feelings. She's hurting someone's feelings. And if you're the girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, Mm-hmm. If her new boyfriend is bigger than you and he finds out, he will beat your ass. Mm-hmm. All right. Are, are you in the mood for an ass kicking? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you so you want to get beat up? Uh, I want to love him. Yeah. Whatever. Have you seen him? Uh, no. That's yet. right. And what if it's fucking uh, some guy who in the UFC or, or some big motherfucker is <laughs> going to beat your ass? Uh, it's not worth it. Wait. One question. You don't get jealous that your girl is like having sex with someone else? No, because I'm like ex and I. Oh, pero still, eh, yeah, that's why that's like why these no, that's why these people are fucked in the head. So what's what what's his problem if he has no feelings involved? Then uh, that's just sex. I know, dude. But the problem is they're cheating on their girlfriend. Yeah, He's cheating eh, on his Marini. girlfriend. She's cheating on her boyfriend. So you need the, you guys both need to end the relationship you're currently in and then work out whatever issue uh, you had with your ex. And then if you're gonna get back together, you're gonna get back together. Yeah. If you're not, you're not. At least get some closure with that relationship before you move in, before you move on to another one. True. Okay. okay? All right. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. We're taking calls here. Uh, all love problems, love, uh, life problems, sex advice. Diana Manessis. Stunning, stunning. <laughs> Brazil- Smart pala si Diana. Bakit? <laughs> stunning. Baka <akong> globe. Stunning <laughs> Brazilian. Uh, Diana Manessis is here on the show. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Jazz, who's uh, 32 from Nova Liches. Jazz, what's up? Hello. Hi. You have a question for Doc Gan. Yeah. What's up? What? Uh, um, my, my first question. Yeah. Yeah, my first question is for uh, Dr. Gan. Go ahead. Sure. Um, I would like to ask uh, Dr. Gan if why do men in general fall asleep uh, just a few seconds or maybe a few minutes immediately after ejaculation during sexual intercourse? Because it drains up their energy and that most women doesn't come during intercourse. Yeah, but uh, Doc, I, I don't know. I, 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 I have, I'm going to have to disagree again because... Some of the guys are only lasting five to seven minutes. Mm-hmm. That, there's nothing you can do in five to seven minutes that drains you completely of your energy. There has to be some sort of release of like whatever your, your, testicle, your testicles or something like that. It, it, there might be some sort of like hormone no. thing going on. No, it's the same. It's, it's all neurological. When the impulses go up into your brain, then you exert effort to ejaculate and then that's it. Yeah, but I can play basketball for two hours, mm-hmm. full court, 
sweating like a fucking monster, working my ass off more than I've ever have, and after that, I'm not sleepy. Why is it then, if I have sex, I last for five minutes, sorry, Diana, it's I last okay. for five minutes, he just and then all of a sudden, minutes. and all of a sudden, I'm sleepy. I mean, there has to be something more than just being tired. Um, most of the time, it's the adrenaline that stays, um, the remnants of this adrenaline um, stays in your body when you play sports. Um, the when when having sex, it's more of endorphins that comes out. So endorphins relaxes you, and then when you are relaxed, when 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 your muscles are relaxed, so it gives you. Um, it's more of say um, neurotransmitters. So endorphins, dopamines that makes your body more relaxed rather than adrenaline. All right, I got you. There you go. That's why. Uh, Mo, if I, if I may, uh, I'd like to um, uh, ask a question for Diana. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, hi, Diana. Good hi. evening. Good evening. Uh, you, uh, you look very uh, hot tonight. Thank you. <laughs> um, Diana, let's say you are in a very tight uh, financial situation. Okay. And uh, one of your loved ones is uh, very ill and mm. needs uh, financial assistance, and you are the only one who could um, help her. Would mm. you consider grabbing an indecent proposal? And I assume there are a lot of men who would like to spend the night with you. Um, honestly, no. I, I'd rather work hard for whatever, I, whatever way I can help that person, but not an indecent proposal. You know, like and and it's, it's not because of anything more than just you're attractive. You know, our country, there's so many DOMs out there. Yeah. They offer every celebrity, every starlet. I mean, even guys. There's a lot of this, um, you know... Uh, like the gay benefactor stuff like that in in this business where they offer you cars and, and, and money and stuff like that. It's because you're attractive. So and that's true. It, it must. It must. True? It's and, true. And, and it, it must happen. It must have happened to you already a couple of times, no? Uh, yeah, it happened to me. Uh, like they they offered, but you know, for me, parang just think about it. Um, you're helping someone else, but doing something wrong. So yeah. the karma will come back to you. So yeah, and, and anyway, and, well, 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 see, I don't believe in useless. karma. Like, well, well, I don't believe in karma. It's just more like just the self worth. Yeah, you know, the, the, also, the, that kind of comes course, back and, yeah, and fucks yeah. with you. All right, it is. Uh, gosh, we have to take a commercial break already. Time is going by fast, Diane. Look, we yeah, only have about an hour, ten minutes left. I hope you're having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, good. Yeah. Phone number six five nine sixty nine sixty nine. If you want to call us, get yourself on the show. We have Diana Meneses is here, Doctor Gan, myself. We're taking more of your calls after this commercial break. Don't go away. See you in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dong, oh. Waiter, sa pang San Meg Light, bakit? Pare, anong pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o beach house ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho. Ay. Maganda ang gabi, pag masaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa tiyan, Sun Mig Light. Drink moderate. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want Hello? and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast, so visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, the e-mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin at Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bello Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle. No approved therapeutic claims. One of the saddest things on earth would probably be eating alone. Sure, there are times when you just want some quiet time munching something, but there's nothing like sharing a meal with family or friends. Now, have you been to Fridays lately? You absolutely have to check out their new plates. You have a lot of options and the prices are actually not that bad. The Cajun chicken spring rolls are unreal. 
Southern style crab cakes, south of the border hummus, oh man, delicious. And the list goes on and on. Spinach and cheese nachos, pork tenderloin and bacon. Are you drooling now? Rush to the nearest TGI Fridays branch near you and bring your friends. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. If you want to snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo, then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page, too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club. Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the Blackberry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to Blackberry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako, I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? I have the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to stream. Cool. Or download songs on my phone now. Bukunak naman sa Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any Smart Wireless Center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Bro. 659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by Sandmig Light. And powered by Smart Bro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here, it is shortly, uh, what, 20 minutes after 11 o'clock, Diana Meneses, gorgeous Brazilian actress, TV host, model, just all around awesome chick. Thanks for being here on the show, we appreciate it, Diana. Thank you, thank you also yeah, you for You can keep dancing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, take the, we'll take some time here before we get to the calls and watch you a little bit. No, no please no. feel free. Okay. No, it's okay, somebody's <laughs> gonna get mad at me, <laughs> and I like her. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't like me. Six she five, loves you. Don't no, say that. No. <laughs> Six five nine sixty nine sixty nine is the uh, phone number if you want to call us. Now the best caller, Diana. This is what I'm going to ask from you. The best caller of the night, your favorite, gets a chance to win a Samsung LCD TV, a Samsung cell phone, or some uh, gift packs from SMB Light. All right. So you're going to choose your favorite caller of the night. Wow. So everybody who calls, make sure you try to wow Diana Manessis here, and hopefully you'll score a chance at some really cool prizes. So here we go. Let us take more phone calls. Let's start with uh, Sam, who's 27. Sam, you're on the show. What's up? Hi. Good Hi, evening. Sam. How are you? I'm good. All right, Sam. Uh, you have a question. You said, actually, you got cut off earlier. You said you have a celebrity as a fuck buddy? <laughs> yes. I think I like this call, Diana. This might be the winning call of the night. Because <laughs> well, my, my you, heart is pounding right off my chest. I sure hope he's not listening. This is oh, well, most deep. He, the thing is, even if he's not listening, he can download it. That's what's great about this whole <laughs> podcast concept. All right. So, Sam, uh, what's, what's your question, though? Before we ask what a, who, who, who's, which celebrity is this, what, what, what's the point of the phone call? Well, actually, I have a question, though. Yeah. But um, I need to give you a brief background. Okay, what do you got? okay? Yeah, go. All right. So basically, we're friends from four years now. Uh-huh. And then after, after a year, we slept together. Okay. Okay. And um, basically, nothing changed. Um, you're still the same, and, except for the naughty messages. All right. The steamy ones. Okay. And then fast forward to two weeks ago. Actually, we lost touch for nine months. Okay, why? Um, got busy. Okay. I'm I'm not the clingy one, so I don't really care. So. Okay. So two weeks ago, he's been bugging me to meet up with him again. Yes. So this was two weeks ago. Yes. Two weeks okay. Ago. And then. 
And I know it can be a booty call. So, and FYI, he's married. He's married. Mm-hmm. So, Ce- mm-hmm. married yeah. celebrity uses you as a booty call. You say okay, because I'm siempre artista, diba? It's like, wow, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I cannot admit, yeah. Okay, all right. And then, so, okay, now he wants you back for a little ass. Yep. What, what did you say? Well, I'm not answering his messages. I'm not answering his calls. Why not? Well, I'm thinking, I'm just curious what's going on in his mind. What's going on is, well, he's a celebrity. He probably thinks he can get a lot of girls whenever he wants. And maybe, he can. Maybe, and he can, probably. But we don't know who he is yet. And because he's married, maybe there's a time where him and his wife are fighting, and then he uses you on a, on a weekly basis. That was okay, sila. Then you won't hear him for eight months. Or maybe he has another girl that he's sleeping with, and they're, they're no longer together. There's a lot of reasons why there might have been a gap between you and him having sex. And there's a lot of reasons why he's calling you back again. I know, but see, here's the thing. I mean, he can get, like, I'm not saying Diana is easy to get, but he can get as hot as Diana. He can. Yeah, but how can Well, come? now we have to ask who it is. Because next thing you know, it's some other celebrity that he didn't want to go up or he didn't want this, and then all of a sudden, you think he can get a girl as hot as Diana. Who is it? I can't. Yes, Sorry. you can. You can't call this okay, show. Look, we don't know who you are, so there's no problem if That's ever right. you say the name of the person. And oh. I have to, I have to, we have to find out if you're telling the truth or not. We're yeah. gonna have to in- interview you, investigate, mm-hmm. interrogate, things like that. Who's <coughs> okay. who's the married celebrity? Maybe if you tell me, I can tell you why. Why is he doing that? Okay, good. Because he's gonna kill me. I swear. It's fine. Yeah, he's gonna kill me as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. He never say something. Come after me first. Is he an actor? Is he a singer? Is he a, is he a host. TV host? What does he do? Ah, oh, I hate you all. Hey, listen, you're the one calling. I didn't know. Yeah, this. I know. I right? Hi. Your number. You called this show. Ooh. What's his name? First letter. If I give out the first letter, you guys would know. No, we. You know how many fucking letters yeah. there are in the alphabet? Fine. Go. J. J. G. Married. Yeah. TV host, singer, actor? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <clears throat> Jay. Oh, Mary. Station. Mary. Yeah, what station? Oh, I hate you guys. Listen, again, we didn't call you, fine, Sam. Fine, fine. Okay. Um, <coughs> what can you guess? Well, there's three major networks right now, and I'm not going to guess because that gives us a 33% chance that we're going to get it right, and I don't have time to fuck around like that. <laughs> Which station? Seven. Seven. Oh. J married seven. Can I guess? Is he popular? Yeah. Very, very popular. Mm-hmm. Uh, Diana, you're. you're Is he not on an everyday show or something like that? No. No. Jano Gibbs. Jano Gibbs. Touchdown! <laughs> she didn't answer. I, you know, when a girl takes a while to answer, that means yes. yes. Sam, am, Sam, are you having sex? Okay. With, Sam, are you having sex with Jano Gibbs? Sam, do you do you enjoy? You know why I believe. You know why there might be some truth to this because you don't pick John O'Gibbs as as your celebrity fuck buddy, right? I mean, right? If you if you call the show, you're like, I'm having sex with a celebrity who Derek Ramsey every day. Yeah, fuck off, Mm. you lying bitch. Now. This might Maybe have. Maybe they're not. This might. <laughs> look at Diana. You're so horrible. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so so how many times have you had sex with John O'Gibbs Dow? Allegedly. Three times. Three times. Okay, and and how are you going to prove it to the world now that this is? A are true you story? serious? Yes, because you can't make a claim like that and at least back it up a little bit. I need birthmarks, moles, oh uh, scars, tattoos. You know what? I'll be in Showbiz Central or Juicy <laughs> or. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Hurry up. I, I don't know. I don't even have a picture. I can't even show you a picture about it. Where do you guys have sex when you guys meet up? In my condo. So he goes to your house. Mm. What kind of car does he have? He's using the big one, the Ford. Oh my God! This is my. I don't know if he has the <laughs> Ford, but you're you're so. Specific. I hope that it's his scared. wife is not listening. <laughs> okay, so what's the question? Let's say you're allegedly having sex with John O'Gibbs. Fine. <laughs> well, what's the question? Oh, well, should I meet up with him? Do you want advice from a girl? I'm sorry. Do you want an advice from a girl? Just give it to sure. her. Sure. Yeah. Stop it. Like, it it won't get anywhere unless what do you want is just sex and you know <laughs> a good time. And he's married. He's married. Like, honestly. 
after a while, I just realized that showbiz guys, sorry Mo, uh, no, but no, they're no, not no. worth at all. Mm. Really? I'm sorry. Ma, like uh, really? no, because like, I'm not really expecting anything from it. Really. So why are you calling yeah. us no, and I, asking I, I us about I, it? Because like I'm not being rude to you. I'm just mm. telling you that, honestly. Because like I expected something from somebody who was from showbiz before, and like nothing happened. And you know they really know where they stand, and they can get whoever they want. Yeah, but Diana, the same what, with us. Diana, what if what if girls I, are emotional? What if I said girls in showbiz they're not worth it? Because they're, they're, they they flirt, they do. It this, depends they, on their personality. Yeah, so, so you right. can't generalize about. Uh, you can't generalize. If you a about guy those. and the girl goes to you. No, but you just said sorry, Mo. But showbiz guys are not worth it. So I go, okay. Let me repeat that to you. You know what? Uh, showbiz girls are not worth it. They're all flirts. They all get D O M offers. They all think about it. They all they all all these rich guys always try to buy them shit and they okay, accept let's, it. Let's, well, that's not fair. Okay, disregard that they are in showbiz. Yeah, they are guys. So okay, well then you know, just say you don't trust so guys. So you have oh no 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 you have a penis okay and then a girl will come up to you and then they will I don't care about the size <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm not trying it out <laughs> anyway, anyway like the the girls go up to you you're not in showbiz yeah and then you're married you have a problem what are you gonna do Listen here's the thing it's the same thing but if you're in showbiz it's way easier and like it's gonna happen if Jono had a problem with his wife. Why? Why? Why wouldn't he? You know, fuck with a girl. It's just normal. I mean, you know. Sam, Sam, if he wasn't married, then I don't mind you going out and doing whatever you guys want to do. You guys want to be f buddies, be f buddies. You want to do that? I don't give a shit. But he's married, and that and that alone makes it a problem, whether it's he's a showbiz personality or not. Hello? Sam, does he even love his wife? So well, you're expecting for feelings, right? You, no, 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 not really. No. Are you in love with him? No, of course not. Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah, why are you calling yeah, the show? Yeah, so, 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 exactly. so what's the point? I think she wants to know should she continue this, whether it be a celebrity or not. Mm. Well, no, because he's married. That's it. Period. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, and you you're asking if he might <coughs> Sorry, you're asking if he loves his wife or not and stuff like that. Well, that's not for you to judge. That's that's mm-hmm. not for you to believe whatever he tells you. What you want to do is if you want a confirmation, and this goes for everybody, okay? If you're thinking of dating a married man, you have to wait till they're not married. Legally, not married. And if they're single, then go. But if they're still married, then I'm sorry, don't do it. Yeah. Okay? All right. All right, Sam. I liked her for Call of the Night because she said she actually said the, the guy's name. Oh, well, yeah, you made me famous in like, what, a minute? <laughs> yeah. Diana, what do you think? Do you like her? No. Um, I like her because she was very honest, but um, I don't like what you're doing, girl. Sorry. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so you're not going to give her a like, call? I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not judging you. Maybe, you know... Well, it's just a weak moment, and maybe you got starstruck or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if you. I don't know. Does he have a big? I don't want. I don't want to judge you, but you know. Sam, Sam. Since we were on the conversation, he's a short guy. He's Filipino. I, I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> does, he, does he have a big wang? No. <laughs> Sam. What? Does he have a big wang? You know the gossips about it. No, no, I don't know yeah, the gossip about it. it. Please, yeah. sorry, I don't. I don't research. But what's what? What is it? How how how? How was it? Good. Yeah, big. Mm-hmm. Solid. Oh. How big? Brazilian. <laughs> Have you tried the Brazilian? <laughs> How big? What are you looking at? So give me a number here. Um, eight. Fuck no! no. Oh, Shut come on. on! Fuck you! Now I, I know, know you're lying. Now I know you're lying. <laughs> the whole, the whole thing's um, been a lie. <laughs> my eyes are closed. <laughs> That's oh you're come such on a liar. three times and then your eyes were closed and then you <laughs> never gave him a blowjob. Uh, mm. once. Once. Oh, and, and then you saw it, right? Did you need two hands to hold it down? Or else you, you blow up somewhere else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please. Oh, my gosh. I hope my bosses are not listening to me right. right now. <laughs> Sam, Sam, according to Diana, not good enough. I thought you were good enough for Call of the Night, oh, but she man. says no. All right? Sorry, no, dear. No, I like her. I like her, but it's just that Please don't go out with a married guy. No, yeah. that's just my advice to you. All right, thanks for the call. All right, bye-bye. All right thanks. Bye-bye. 659-6969 is the phone number. If you want to call us, get yourself on the show here, ask a question. We have people here who's been at home for a while. This is Karen, who is 28. She's from uh, Paranaque. She's been in a relationship with her boyfriend for eight years now. And what? Hello? Hi. Yeah, hi. What's up? Hi, Mo. I have a question for, for Diana. Yeah, yeah. And, and here's funny, because last night, our theme of the night with Hubert Webb here was um, anal sex. A lot of anal sex calls, Diana, last night. Mm. Tonight, it's all big dick calls. So, <laughs> Karen, you have a big dick call. What's up? 
Yeah, uh, hi Diana, how is it hi. going? I'm you look good. so pretty tonight. Thank you. Oh my gosh, okay. I just came from your ears. So here's the situation, Diana. Okay. I've been with my boyfriend for the past eight years and sex was just awesome for the first three or four years. Okay. But then it started to get too painful because he's just too huge for me. Oh. Yeah. I didn't mind that at the beginning, obviously. Of course. You then liked it. Right. the reality that he's big started to hit me and it's got down painful, painful down there. Okay. Oh. And how and does he want to have sex a lot? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that that's yeah. He's so he's ripping like and tearing. Like, how <laughs> is it okay if I ask you how many times you guys have sex? Thrice a week, sometimes four times a week. And when you say big, sorry, I know I'm, I'm the one asking all the size questions here, but what are you talking about, big? Can Better I ask something eight, to Doc? Eight inches. Eight inches. See, you know what? I'm so glad all you girls are calling in, and and. Because we started the show with, well, we, we suck, we were small penises. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, to the rescue, our Filipinos come in. No, 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 no. Eight inch dicks. I've seen them on Filipinos. Filipinos. That's right. Love it. Okay. Uh, she's been with the guy for a while, right? Yeah, eight years. So she was, a, I mean, not, Doc, is that not, is it true that, um, <laughs> sorry, what? can I use this word? It the vagina. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it will. Yeah, it will. So what's the, I don't think the problem is really the Well, no, side. but maybe, uh, maybe. It's drying up, you know, oh, the constant, you know. Maybe I guess and, you're like falling out of love or like something well, no, is but, missing. But come on, no, come on. Let, let's be realistic here. I mean, an eight inch dick, and we don't even know how wide it is yet, right? But an eight inch penis is going to hurt you if, you if you're shoving it in you three times a week. I don't but care how much in love you but are. But it, it will open, right? Yeah, it but, will loosen up, but it's still, it's still <laughs> painful. Like you have to be well lubricated. You have to at least think. Listen, there's going to be a lot more calls in the history of this show about... Big penis problem versus little penis problem. Okay. Like girls who have girls who have boyfriends with small penises, they're not going to call the show and complain as much as girls who have boyfriends with big penises because it hurts. A but small, you liked yeah. it before, right? Solution lubricants. Yeah, 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 maybe yeah. But if it's too big, if it's too big for you, you might even have to think about ending the relationship because you're going to go your whole life just getting po- pulled by this by this <laughs> by this big ass wang. <laughs> And you might not but like it. Do you do you base the relationship on how big or small the dick is? No, no doc. But pain yeah. is pain. That's why you look for something for a solution for that problem. Right. This one it, with this one, the solution yeah, is yeah, lubricant. A lubricant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But okay, what, okay. Here, here's where I. Okay, this is where I'm at here. What sometimes lubricant is not enough. Okay, you're just keeping her wet. You're just keeping her the, the ability to go in and out. But if it's huge, it, it's like it, it will adjust. Okay, it's like. It Emotional. Uh, okay, listen. The guys, guys, problem. I, under, I understand and I agree with both of you. But there is a physical aspect and an anatomical as- aspect here, Gan, that if you have a huge penis and you're putting it – and she's putting it inside her and it's hurt forever. She said it's been hurting forever. Is he Filipino? Is he, is he Filipino? Yes, he is. Wow. Okay, see, so <laughs> what I'm saying is if it's always hurt – Regardless if you're in love with him or not, there might just not there just there's not a biological compatibility here, Doc. You call it dyspanuria, um, painful sex. Yeah, um, because he's huge. Different factors, yeah. One of it is size, and the other one is emotional. So, well, okay, if we, it's size, again, uh, most of the time it will adapt. 
And I don't think it's 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 one reason for you to just leave the guy. Yeah. Oh, okay, listen. You can't go a whole life, though. It's not like his penis is going to get smaller. And there's no reduction. You can't go your whole life, Wait but, lang mo, but you're getting get so bigger. personal. Yeah. <laughs> you're getting too personal. Yeah, you're like, how come? What, what's, how come? Okay, what's the deal really, about it? Okay, the reason why I'm getting personal is, is both it? of you are giving wrong advice. <laughs> no, why? No, no, I if agree. The... Okay, I agree with you, but it's not always, you... and there's not always emotional. A big penis hurts, period. Okay, let's put it the opposite way. The girl yeah. will come up to you. Okay, I'm not saying anything because I don't know about your size, but yeah. the girl comes up to you and say, um, hi, I'm breaking up with you because it's small. And then she will come up to the. In this case, she'll come to the guy. I'm breaking up with you because it's big. I'm come breaking, on, no, it I'm hurts. Breaking, I'm breaking up it you hurts. because it's painful. Mm, but and, and as much as I love you, dude, we can't do this forever. It on, hurts. Come on, guy. Yeah, but. Dude, the he's fine. Go- he's got an eight inch penis. He's fine. <laughs> he's gonna be like, yeah, but, really? Okay. So, so why did you? And then he's gonna go back to his basketball game. <laughs> They're playing basketball. Why did? Why can't you break? <laughs> yeah. you know, the, How about if a, awesome. let's say a girl comes to you, your girlfriend comes in, they say, I, we're, I'm breaking up because you're big, and it's painful. What are you gonna feel? Listen, I know if I have a big penis. <laughs> I know if we're having sex that you look like you're not enjoying it because it's big. I understand <laughs> if you came up to me and you went. We have to end this relation. Why? Because it hurts, man. I'm sorry. I've tried lubricants. I tried this shit. I tried that. I shred. I tried vagina stretching exercises. I tried it all. It hurts. Get, get accept it, Diana. Doc, Jesus, this guy's got a big penis. <laughs> Give him a high five and kick him to the curb. Oh my god. All right. Hello, Karen. Uh, yeah. All right. What do you want to do? I. So, well, I don't have any plans of breaking up with him. Okay, are you okay. in love with him? Yes, I am. I don't think I'm going to be able to put up with that for another four See, years. See, that's what I'm I saying. Don't. Look, she's in love with him, but she's having a hard time putting it up with this big penis. Listen, you're going to have to find... You're just going to have a find... You're going to have to find a way. Have you tried heavy lubrication? Yeah. All right, well, listen. Then you have to weigh. Um, which are you going to follow? You know, your, your sexual life or your love life? Okay, it's, a which one? It's, it's, it's just Karen, choice, Karen, you know? Karen, how about this? Is it, is, it, is it too thick or is it too long? Both. Okay. You go, listen, okay, well, let's say his name is John. You say, John, listen, <laughs> you know that you have a monster in your pants. Here's the deal. You can only put half of it in. I'll give you a blowjob. I'll give you a hand job to finish you off. But if you want to have intercourse, I can't take that whole thing and you know it. I've been doing it for eight years. I feel destroyed. So we're only going to put half of it in and we're going to do that for 10 minutes and then after that, I'll finish you off some other way. But, but, but come on, you have, to, you have to know that it, it hurts. I'm, putting, I'm doing everything I can. Heavy lubrication, doing this, doing that. But what am I going to do? You're, in, you're, you're a gorilla. All right? Okay. Half, half in. All right, Karen. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. And then he goes, baby, can we try anal sex? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Right? Oh, my God. Whew. I think most projecting you know, at this moment, at this mm. point. What do you yeah. think, Mo? What do you mean projecting? Yeah, projecting, like, um, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. <laughs> because a, a prob- I, know, I know what I'm you talking have, it's, about. It's personal and then, you know, you're projecting no. to the question. No, listen, and then, there's, you, know? There's, you know why You know why I'm not listen. projecting and you know why I'm not, like, being angry for a reason I don't have to admit? Because mm-hmm. I can admit anything on this show. We have. <laughs> you know that. You've been here long enough. And everyone who listens to the show knows long enough we can talk about anything. So there's no reason to sugarcoat any problem or any hidden agenda of mine. I just know that both of you are fucking wrong. <laughs> oh my god! See, told yeah, you she's I projecting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Go see a string. Yeah. Oh, go, go, go! Put a big penis on you. <laughs> Hello, not you, him. <laughs> Anton, Kazan City. What's up? Hey. Hey, you have I a question? I have a question for Diana. Go. Hey. I just wanted to ask where the kinkiest place she's gotten it on. Where is what? The, 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 the kinkiest place, the most daring place you've ever had, uh, you've ever done it. Um, on the stairs of the building of my dad's house. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Back in Brazil. Yeah. With, 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 uh, with, uh, with, with, with Sea Biscuit. Yeah, Sea Lawyer. <laughs> what? What? Sea Lawyer <laughs> yeah, Boy. Yeah, yeah, sea Biscuit. My, my boyfriend for four years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. There you go, Anton. Yeah. 
But you know, my fantasy is in the elevator. I don't know. Try yeah, you know, I, elevator. Elevator. I, don't, I don't get how Thanks. people can do the elevator thing because it, the, the ride from the ground floor to whatever floor is too short. Okay, yeah, nga. That's yeah. the. That's the if you can, so if what are you going to do? You can, that yeah, short yeah, end, right? one, yeah, but then what are you going to do? You're going to hit the stop button? Well, I don't know. Like, okay, nga. I want to try. <laughs> How can you get there? Or, you know? yeah. <laughs> or the that's, thought that's, that's, that a camera is there and then someone's watching you. Um, no, no, not no much. Man. It's just the you know how you ever quick the, you can You ever come. do the videotaping thing? Honestly? Yeah. Yeah, but I delete it right away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks I, I make sure it's my own camera. Not yeah, someone right, else right. Coming. You can't leave it with a boyfriend. Yep. You never yes, trust them. Yes, I never do that. All right, uh, 659-6969. Whoa, the time is blowing by here. We have to take another break soon, but let's try to get a call in. Here is uh, Gabby, who's 18. Gabby, you have a question? You're from Marikina. What's up? Yes. Hi, Mo. Hi. I really need to help you all. So, what's your advice for your See, well, uh, uh, in question. I have a friend. Third year college, and then second year college. She had a girlfriend for five years. Sila. So high school pa siya nun. Wait, this is too many statistics. Just, just tell us what's going on. Uh, okay. Ngayon, ginagawa niya, naglalakad siya mula sa school nila, USD. Tapos hanggang Marikina. Oh, Every God. single day. You have a friend that walks from mm-hmm. USD to Marikina. Why? Eh, ko. Ngayon, nag-break, nag-break sila. Ganyan yung naging habi niya. Kung baga, doon niya na transfer yung feeling niya dun sa, yung nangyari sa kanya, dun sa paglalakad niya. Pero may kaya naman sila. Binibigyan naman siya ng baon niya every day. <coughs> So your friend, okay, your friend broke up with his girlfriend because yeah. he's so broken hearted. He decided to walk home every day from USD to Marikina. Papua Pero, Manila. Katipunan. Sabi natin, katipunan. USD to Katipunan. It takes that's a, that's a three hour walk, four hour walk. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, gabi na siya muwe tas minsan yun hindi nangas na ako. Ewo ko pero. Ano ba dapat nang gawin? Bigyan na o oh, yung nagkukwento man siya dati, okay na mo yung sex. Is he, is, he, is he all sa- is he, is he sane? I mean like uh, it yeah. has the, did the breakup ruin him that he's losing? Oh, kasi parang ewan, ewan namin kung nababali unat pinagtatawa na namin siya pero parang habang tumatagal. Okay, this is what you do as a friend. You have to have him seek counseling. Yeah. Now, schools have mm-hmm. counselors. You can go ahead and say we have to talk about something. And you, you have to bring him to one of your school counselors and see if there's a psychiatrist on duty, it's USD Naman, it's a medical school. Uh, mm-hmm. There might be a psychiatrist on duty there that he can talk to, a licensed physician who will be able to get his problems, break it down, and find out w- what's going on. Pero mo, pagkakinausap naman namin siya, okay naman siya. Tamo. I know, but, but the walking from USD to Marikina <laughs> Freaking, every yeah. single day not is not very normal. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, he pero might ma- be. Ano naman, mataas na mga grades. Kahit na. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It, just because he has good grades doesn't mean he might not be all there in his head. Oh, meron rin siyang dinedate ganun pero okay lang yan walking walking from USD to Marikina again it's not normal <laughs> okay even if you keep on defending that he's doing things that looks like normal but there's this one thing that makes it unnor- um, abnormal abnormal yeah and, oh, and walking pero, four hours to school yeah. and walking four hours back if you have the money to spend on, on mm-hmm. commuting or have a car that's it's not normal now he might oh. be an exercise buff and he's training to climb Mount Everest then fine but if he's just a normal 18-year-old like you who's going to school, there's no reason for him to be walking four hours going there and four hours back. He's 18. He's third year college. Okay, but still, no one at that mm-hmm. age is going to be doing that unless mm-hmm. he's training for some sort of like uh, the fucking uh, tour de force or whatever the hell uh, Pero these things. But in your opinion, he's going to be a psychiatrist or what? Ju- okay, uh, a yeah. just just go see a therapist. Just pick his brain. There might be something there. There might not be. You never know, but you're only going to find out if you try, okay? Oh, I see. All right, thanks for the call. Bye-bye. Thanks. Let's go to Miguel, who's on a cell phone. You're 22. Miguel Santa Ana, what's up? <laughs> Miguel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're on the hey, show. Mo. What's going on? Diana Manessis is here. What's up? Hey, Mo. Hey, Diana. Hey, Doc. Hi. Hi. Question, Miguel. Yes, uh, so I'm having this problem. Uh, I have two girlfriends. Uh, my other girlfriend, she's 30 years old already. Okay. And then uh, the other one, uh, which is uh, the newer one, is uh, 17 years old. Okay. So my problem is, uh, before, I used to believe that our relationship is about emotional investment and all. It is. And then suddenly I just realized that... Uh, <laughs> My 17-year-old girlfriend is better in bed my 30-year-old old girlfriend. So your 17-year-old girlfriend is better in bed than your 30-year-old girlfriend. Yeah, okay. and I'm turning, uh, and <laughs> I'm turning, uh, how can I say this? Um, 
I don't know if I still love my three-year-old girlfriend because of that fact, and I'm not sure if it's right or wrong. Okay, well, but, let me tell you what's wrong. First of all, you're an asshole. At least let's yeah. establish that, right? <laughs> True, yeah. more. Miguel, Miguel, you're 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 a, you're a douchebag. Yeah. You you know that, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Now that now that we know you're a douchebag, um. <laughs> <laughs> but but no no I mean you can't blame me for doing that because, yes I can because uh, you're because you're, the first time it happened it was like oh my god uh, this is different so I'm like definitely okay. there'll be difference because one of your partner is emotionally attached and the other one is just physically attached to you yeah um, in normal development that that teenager that you're dating is acting normally on her urges well the 30 yeah. year old is acting on her um, full developmental mind. Yeah. So, um, at your age, you'll be acting on your urges as well. So, you'll be picking the one that gives you um, satisfaction at your stage. Yeah. Okay. But but the fact is, uh, I'm going crazy because they're both beautiful, honestly. And, uh, Miguel, you're, I mean, Miguel, you're, uh, Miguel, they're Miguel. both hot. But uh, I really can, you know, choose whether if I'm going to go to... Emotional investment more. I'm gonna go to physical investment more. I'm gonna look at things and balance it. But yeah, I'm Miguel. Not going Miguel, to first of all, why don't you look at yourself more? Why you're going out with two girls? Uh, why you're putting both of them in the situation? And now all of a sudden you're just this. See, this is why you're a massive asshole. Because you're going out with two girls. They think they're the only ones. Now you're judging on, and you're only going with both of them because they're both hot. And now you're gonna judge. Who you're gonna stay with because one's better at sex than the other? Do you see how uh, much of an asshole honestly, you are? Yeah, you know, that was the first <laughs> thing that I realized or I thought about. It was that reason, but suddenly I realized that it's because I want to decide already because I want to. I don't want to be a douchebag like you like you no, told no. me I am. Yeah, but so, listen, listen. Yeah. Picking picking which girl you want doesn't stop you from being a douchebag. You're still gonna be a douchebag. <laughs> because you're the, the the reason why you're choosing them is one is better in sex than the other. They're both hot. Never once in this conversation did you say one was nicer, yeah. one was more fun to be mm-hmm. with, one was funnier, one was smarter, one was this, one was that, one had a better girlfriend yeah, qualities. Yeah. You didn't you didn't explain any of those things. The only thing you talked about is how hot one is and how good the other one is in bed. No, but because honestly, with a with a three year old girlfriend, uh, actually she's uh, she's smart because she's a doctor. She's a dermatologist, and then uh, she's great. She's not the smart. Is, she's going the out with you. Is great. Actually, she's almost perfect. But <laughs> suddenly, when this girl came in, the seventeen-year-old one, uh, first we were just friends, and then suddenly. Uh, okay, okay, Miguel. I don't even want to. I don't you want know what? Miguel, At his age, at your age, you're doing what you're supposed to do. You well, know, well, acting then, on your urges. That's, that's I, I know, but what I'm saying is, he wants to settle down. He, he says, "I want to pick one." Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You, well, yeah, but that's you're not. I in want. The, you're I you're not. Down in, and, you know, I don't want to make a mistake. That you no. don't yes, have what it takes. Right, listen, already. you don't have what it takes right now to be in a real relationship. Mm, yeah, you no. need to be alone for a while. You need to be able to get your heart broken. You, I need to call both of them and tell them about you because you, you need something to bring you down, bring you back to earth here. You're flying in this whole fucking atmosphere of hot chicks. I can I can have sex with any hot chick I want. You're starting to forget the truth, the the, the, the meaning of it all. That's true. Uh, honestly, that that's my point because I already saw the you know the real reason. Yeah, but you're really not ready, Miguel. But you, Miguel no, Miguel, you have chosen listen, already, Miguel, you've Miguel, been. shut the fuck up. Here's why. Because the, <laughs> when we started the conversation, not one goddamn time did you say anything about their qualities of, a, of an individual. We talked, we're on the phone with you now for five minutes. Three and a half minutes were spent on how awesome they were at sex and how hot they were. That makes you an asshole. Now, yeah. that's you need... Why, that's why, Mo, that's why I'm calling you because I know that, you know, somehow this show can change how I see things. And I believe that after this call, I want to believe that something that you have said or Diana or Doc have told me, something would change me. Yeah, but okay, here, okay, but okay, here, okay. okay, here's what I need you to do. I need you to, realize, okay. I need you to be single. I need you to go through a couple heartbreaks where you're heartbroken. That's if you true. if you want to succeed in your marriage five years, ten years from now, you're gonna have to somebody's gonna have to teach you a lesson. Okay. Because right now you're just hurting people. One question. And actually, and actually Mo, right now, uh, my heart is getting I mean, broken piece by piece because this oh, because my come three-year-old on. girlfriend. I'm sorry. Don't give me that shit. Her, <laughs> don't give me that shit. Your heart is not getting broken because you're like 
fucking up with the yeah. <laughs> you know, the two girls' yeah, heart. Yeah, you know, yeah. like there are two girls there, and they have heart as well. So, like, yeah. Okay, who that's do you why, have more feelings with? That's why I really, you know, I told myself like, like a week ago, like, oh no, I need to fix these things. I know, I I need, you know, I need. Okay, here's what he's gone. Oh yeah, yeah, he's there gone. You go. There you go. There's Good. his cell phone. All right, he's gone. We got to take a break. Diana, you're you're, you're having fun. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we only got 30 minutes left. See how fast I went? That was yeah. two hours. All right? You're not so, going to ask me, Joe. And Mo? What? You're not going to ask me if I'm having fun? Well, I know you're having fun. Yeah, I'm beside Diana. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, Doc. You're having fun. You know why I know you're having fun? Mm -hmm. Because you're not talking and I hear this underneath your table. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> That's what I hear underneath your table. Let's take a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dong, oh. Waiter, sa pangasan Meg Light, bakit? Pare, anong pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o beach house ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho. Ay. Maganda ang gabi pag masaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa tiyan. San Mig Light. Drink moderate. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast, so visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, the e-mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin that glows? Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bello Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle. No approved therapeutic claims. One of the saddest things on earth would probably be eating alone. Sure, there are times when you just want some quiet time munching something, but there's nothing like sharing a meal with family or friends. Now, have you been to Friday? For hobbyists, I recently made the switch to Canon, and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon-related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast, like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the Blackberry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to Blackberry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. 
I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? I have the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to stream. Cool. Or download songs on my phone now. Bukunag naman sa Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any Smart Wireless Center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Bro. Hi, this is Lady Gaga, and you're listening to Good Times with Mo, Philippine Genius. Good, 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 good Times with Mo. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by San Mig Light and powered by Smart Bro. Call the show, 659-6969. Back on the program here is the podcast. We are, I'd say, about 30, 30 minutes away before wrapping this up. As time, again, just breezing right by Diana Menes is on the program. She's here doing an excellent job, by the way, giving advice <laughs> and just be realistic here. We appreciate yeah, that. Very can I much. just say one thing? Go. <laughs> I don't think you should mind them, but uh, by the way, I am not drunk from this Ustream people <laughs> saying that I'm drinking coffee and just one Samig light, and that doesn't make me drunk at all. Okay? And I'm glad you're drinking. I'm just. I'm, dr- I'm glad you're drinking San Miguel. I love San Miguel. Good girl, yeah, because yeah, it's but- low calorie beer. You, you, yes. If you have a body like uh, Diana's here and you want to keep it, you don't want that big tummy. Well, hey, San Miguel Light's the beer you want to choose because 100 calories long, you can drink a bunch of it, not get tipsy so quick, so at least you can enjoy the night. Mahabang inuma. True. It, right? And to yeah. clear it out, you know, I'm just very honest and straight to the point. But if you guys want me to be plastic, okay, lang. No, no, no. no. Be straight, <laughs> you know what? Tell these people to fuck up. I know, right? <laughs> they're, 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 they're what we call in the internet world. <laughs> Trolls uh, you know, leeches, it's so okay. Them <laughs> I love them. At least they're listening. <laughs> yeah, good point. Six five nine six nine six nine. Where our phone lines are full. If you call now and you don't get a ring, that's because there are a lot of people calling. But be persevere. You can get on the show. You're going to win a Philips MP3 Go Gear. Though this is courtesy of TradePort.com.ph. It'll be delivered to your house. This, just alone. This alone is well worth it. Plus, we're going to give caller of the night a chance to get either a flat screen TV, some uh, SMB light, uh, Samsung light. Um, gift packs, or a Samsung cell phone. So a Samsung cell phone, Samsung TV, SMB light stuff. Let's go to the phones, and let's go to a 19-year-old Anna who's here. She has a question for Diana. Anna, you're on the show. Yeah. Yes, hello. Hi, what's up? Yeah, um, hi. Yeah, I'm going to ask because, you know, I've been meaning to, like, have wax or something, but I think it's kind of awkward for a first-timer. Mm. Like, my question is, how am I supposed to, like, approach anybody inside, like, the shop that it. Well, you know, uh, I know you're going to ask this to, uh, to 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 Diana here, yes, but yes, these shops, okay. these shops do this all day long. Yeah. All they do is wax, <clears throat> and you should not feel. It's understandable to be embarrassed, but don't worry about getting into the store and them having judging you or anything like that. Maybe you shouldn't be embarrassed to tell your parents that you want this done. Fine, but if you're going to go to a store that waxes. You shouldn't. You shouldn't uh, think about what they think about you because that's all they do. Yeah, yeah. that's their job. That's right? your job. And if you want my advice, like, um, well, I have it done at home. Every time I have somebody who goes to my place, and then she just do it at my place, so it's private. And she does it for a lot of celebrities as well. So like, well, no, that's not me. <laughs> well, um, yeah. So if you need her number, maybe in private, we can just yeah. give her. Yeah, we'll give yeah. you. So you won't okay. won't feel like, like awkward. Doesn't it feel like you get um, abused, like getting touched or something well, while it gets waxed or whatever? Um, for me, I say maybe well, if you let a teenage boy do it, yes. But I mean, these girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a, the waxer is a girl, so yeah. for me, like, yeah, <laughs> that's such a. <laughs> then you know, I think these people are professional, so they won't yeah, do that. To they, you. You, they'll do their job. You. Know, Wax but but, but your, Diana, let me, let me rip off your hair. Yeah. Let me ask you. It's not like when, when it comes to the waxing. It's not like you just lie down, right? You have to lie down. They wax you, and then you have to get on your knees and from behind. You have to do all yeah, the. Yeah, you these have weird... to go. Okay, honestly, yeah, yeah, you go. go to like this, the positions that you <laughs> you should use in bed. Right, and then the, that's, that, that's the same thing. But like, it's just you know they're just doing their job. Right. There's but, nothing but, to feel. Yeah, but I just want to tell you, Anna, it's not like you're gonna lie down on your back and then you're gonna get up and leave. You're going to get on your back, and then you're going to get into the doggy position, and then you're going to get into the freaking reverse cowgirl position, and then you're going to get into the 69 position. It, it's not like you're just going to lie down and do nothing. So it's going to get uncomfortable, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, last question. Is it yeah. painful or... Yeah. It is painful, and um, you can take something so that you won't feel that 
um, I don't know if I can mention the name of the medicine or I yeah. Well, do, well, yeah, doc, you just, you know. Well, well, you go, go just you yeah. know those things you take for like your headache or pain something. relievers you know yeah, methanamic pain relievers, acid yes. can't you put a topical yeah um, I an- put a topical on uh, anesthesia uh, yeah. when do you Emla, put it after Emla no before, uh, before. And actually it's mapde pero if you if you really don't want to feel that pain yeah, Emla is anesthetic it. it's like yeah okay, so let, let me give you a plug let me give you a plug 819-819 Bello get the laser done mm-hmm. once you get that laser done you never the laser have to hurts do. more it hurts but one time lang no, 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 no. Or, or maybe a few times, a few sessions. Yeah. But but at least it's gone forever. Mm, yeah. Okay. And it thins it out, you know what I mean? So it's not going to hurt the next time. Yeah. So 819 Bell, if you want to go ahead and get that done. All, All right. right. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Got to get some plugs in for new sponsors. <laughs> Got a new sponsor coming in also, uh, White Hat, uh, the the frozen yogurt. They should be uh, getting in the, uh, in the whole advertising thing as well here on the show. So mm. we appreciate that. Abangan, white hat. All right, let's go to Charlie. He's been on hold for 40 minutes. Charlie Malate, what's up? Yeah, he's gone. He was on. Charlie? No? All right. Isaac, you're uh, 18. Pasig, what's up? Isaac. Hello? Yes, you're on the show. Isaac, don't listen to the computer. Listen to the phone. What's, <laughs> what's going on? Okay. Isaac, turn off your computer or I will turn you off from the show. <laughs> What's your problem? Okay. Actually, uh, right now, uh, I am 18 years old. Yeah. Okay? But the problem is uh, I really don't know uh, uh, what is the reason why I am not able to uh, fall in love with someone else. D- are you? Have you ever had a really big crush? Okay. Hello? I- Isaac, stop listening to the computer. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. You're gone. <laughs> I- I- listen. You're only going to learn. You're 18. You're, you're, you're a dumbass. Uh, I've told you three or four times. Stop listening to the computer and you continue to. And you're young. We're going to have to be harsh on you. You're gone. Uh, Richard, you're 34. Paranyake, what's up? Hello, I'm Mo. Yeah, good evening. Hi. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, habang naghihintay ko, ang dami ko ng reason kung bakit ako tumawag eh. Okay. First, I, I would like to say sorry to my girlfriend because I've been an asshole uh, just, just now. Okay. And second, uh, uh, I'm calling for the price because I would like to prove to mga office mates ko na totoo na when you call, you will receive a price. So yeah, this ever, this is here. This is for you now. You're on, you're on the show. Oh, by the way, okay. Look, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Pat, producer Pat. Yes, Mo. The li- the last kid who called the show. Uh huh. Remove his price too. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mo, okay yeah. lang ba na signature mo para may proof ako? Fine, I will. I will sign. No, I don't know. I can't sign yours because it comes from a warehouse. There's like thousands of these stuff uh, that we're giving away. Uh, it's, it's, Just don't worry. Okay, you know, okay. this is a downloadable show. You can prove it to your friends by downloading it off iTunes or on MoTwister.com. You say, "Look, I was on the show." Yeah, and that's enough proof. The okay. Third, uh, third reason is, kaya magig um kaya magigas sila Gracie. I don't know when we when we find out a good schedule for them, but they're in Singapore right now, so uh, not happening and, this week. And then lastly, uh, actually, my question is, uh, I have this friend. Uh, Who's into a relationship? Okay. Pero married na yung guy, and uh, and she she's been calling me na parang uh, sinasabi niya na paano niya na matitigil to kasi nasihirapan na siya. Okay. Pero so nagadvise ako sa kanya pero parang walang hindi puko parin siya makonvince. So okay. Kaya, wait, when, bak- okay. When when you when you said she doesn't want the relationship anymore, why is she going back? Uh, hindi niya masabi eh. Pero I think, ano, before yung kwento niya sa akin, she doesn't want to be alone. Okay, well, how old is she? I think she's uh, 25. She's not going to be alone. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, she probably has some sort of trauma or some sort of issue with abandonment and stuff like that at a young age that she thinks that if she can attach herself to anyone, married or not, that he's going to stay with her forever. And then, you know, she's going to go ahead and deal with, with, this, with this situation because you got loneliness is something that maybe brings her back to a time where she felt really bad. You know what I mean? You, you have yeah, to encourage, yeah. you have to say, listen, you're not going to be alone. Why? Because I'm here. I care about you. I'm calling a, a, an online show asking for advice on how I'm going to give you and make you better. You're not going to be alone. Maybe you're not going to have someone to hug you. Maybe you're not going to have someone to kiss you on the lips at night. But aside from that, I am here for all the other reasons. So do not feel oh, alone. Yeah. And guess what? You're 25 one day soon, someone else is going to come in. Hopefully, he's not married. Actually, he can't be married. And you can have a real relationship. Actually, I told him that. No, do you know? Do you know? It will take time. 
Do you know if her dad left her maybe when she was a little kid? I think ano ano na parang namatay na. Mm. Yeah, yeah there, there might be something there. You know, a little yeah. some sort of trauma at a young age where she's kind of like she just needs somebody to hold on yeah. to, and it, it's a married man, maybe it, it, a fatherly figure, and she's gonna hold on to that guy regardless if it's wrong or or not. You just need to make sure that you're there to say. I'm gonna be. You're never gonna be alone. I will be. You can call me at three in the morning. I'll go to your house. You can call me. You know. Well, she can't do that because I have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Well, shit. She needs to go see. She needs to go probably see again. Go go see a therapist. I think she can work out some issues yeah. of abandonment uh-huh. and all that stuff with them. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Thank yeah, you. Thank Thanks you. For the call. No worries. Bye bye. Diana, you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just waiting for a very interesting reason. Okay. Let's see if this is Mark who's 25. <laughs> Mark, you're 26. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, mo, uh, good evening, uh, Diana, good evening. Uh, I'm Mark from Calon, and I just want to ask an advice regarding for my current relationship right now. Okay. Mm. Uh, I do have a girlfriend for almost five years. All right. And I, I admit that I cheated before on her. Okay. Like, like, for, like for two, three times, and uh, I tell her all about it, and she forgive me. Okay. And all of, all of a sudden, I, I just uh, one day I just uh, search her name on Google, and uh, her name pop out with uh, one guy who wants to greet her on the radio, and her full with her full name, and uh, she, he's asking that that girl is his girlfriend. So she cheated and, on you. Uh, and I'm not through radio. You, she cheated on you also. Yes. Did you ask her if it was true? I asked her if she knows the guy, and she said yes. Okay, so she cheated on you, you cheated on her. What, what's the question? Uh, I just want to ask, uh, what would I do? Because actually right now we're doing fine, and uh, actually she's, she's very kind, and uh, I, I just don't know what to do right now. Well, if you're both open to forgiving each other and making sure this never happens again, it's, your, it's at your discretion. I mean, mm-hmm. I... Uh, I've I've had a girlfriend cheat on me and it sucked and I took her back and you know if, if there are things like that you 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 just have to make sure that you're willing to forgive and, and then forget see, and well I don't know about forget it's really that because it's so hard to do yeah, that yeah. it's so hard true, to forget you know it's, it's more cliche but at least make sure that whatever you had whatever issues you had before that led to the cheating you need to fix but I don't mind it doesn't happen again because mm, actually. Uh for us guy, may sample may hirap yung diba pagka nag-cheat yung babae sa atin parang diba every now and then parang naalala natin parang hindi oh, maalala. Of course no, I, absolutely. Even if it's not cheating, even if she was like flirting with a guy that she's always with, mm-hmm. it, it's traumatizing sometimes for a guy. I understand mm-hmm. that part, but you cheated on her too. You both of you have yeah. issues. If you can settle that before you start getting serious again, it might help your relationship. You know, it's, it's these challenges that proves one's love to each other. Now, if you can if you can um if you can survive the challenges and then go on with your lives, that means you love each other that much. That's true. Mm. All right? Because now, parang medyo, ano, medyo, this past few days, lagi kami nag-away dahil parang doon. There will always be, palaging may challenges ang buhay eh. Hindi mo, you can't, you can't take that out of the, the, um, the equation. It's always there. So, what, what you have to do is learn how to deal with these challenges. That's how life is. Okay? Um, and, and, and you listen. You, you just—it's gonna—it's gonna bother you. It's gonna eat away at you. It's gonna eat away at her. Everybody—that's why—that's what's wrong with cheating. Once you cheat, or even if you almost cheat, or if you put yourself in a situation where one 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 person thinks you cheated, it's always gonna eat a, eat away at you. That's why you have to change things in your relationship to make sure that people you can build confidence again. That your girlfriend's gonna be confident in you. That you're gonna be confident in her. Once that happens, then you can start moving on. But you have to stop putting yourself in situations where. Somebody might cheat, or 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 that that the 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 the, the trauma or the, the all of that stuff that, that you remind that reminds you of the moment she cheated. You need to remove that. Okay. 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 Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank like you. Like she has to stop. Advice. She has to stop being friends with that guy. He has to stop uh-huh. greeting her on the radio. You have to stop being friends with the girl you cheated. You guys have to e- erase these people's phone numbers from your cell phones. That, you you yeah. have to get away from that. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Ria, 25. Ria, you're in Manila. What's up? Ria. 
Hello? Yes, that's you. Turn off yes. the computer. What do you got? Hi, Mo. Hi. Um, I'm in a relationship right now. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Um, and he has a complicated past. But I've accepted him already. Um, but every time we fight, parang our friends kasi, parang they meddle into our fights. And they al- always remind me na he has three kids and he- he'll leave you then. Parang ganon. Okay, so your what's your question? Um, how do how do I keep it better? What do you mean? Every time kasi I'm scared na parang baka he might leave me then like his ex-wife parang ganon. Okay, so you just... Okay, hold on She's one just second. just insecure. Yeah, you're just insecure. Yeah. Uh, it's thing. You have to try, to... try to talk to him. Try to say, listen, I'm insecure about the situation because of your past and maybe I have some issues that I need to work with, but we need to talk to each other. You need to try to help me, try to reassure me that you're going to stay around and I'll try to reassure you of things you want me to change. Mm-mm. You know, it's kind of just like the last call. Yeah. If you guys communicate about what you want out of this relationship and mm-hmm. what you want, both want to change, it really helps out with mm-hmm. feeling confident about the relationship. Talking to each other. Yeah. You know, That's if, the key. If, if, if there's something that bothers you about him, like, baka he flirts, baka he texts with other girls, just say, listen, it makes me uncomfortable. Now, if you don't want me to be insecure, stop doing this. Mm. You have to follow each other's rules. One person can't just follow your rules and then the other person is not going to follow his yeah. rules. You know, it, it, it's a meeting of the minds here. It's a give and take relationship. You know? uh-uh. If he wants you to do something that makes him feel better about the relationship, do it. And then if he's not going to do anything that you want, then this is not a healthy relationship. You're going to end up breaking up. If he has three kids, you go, listen, I accepted that you have three kids. But I'm worried that you might leave me one day. Can you do something that, that, that helps me become more secure about this situation? I'm doing this for you. Sana, you can do something for me. Although, um, on this kind of relationship, you know, you um, trying to accept his situation, you have to adjust. You have to um, make more of the adjustment than him because yeah. you, try to accept it, you, you try to accept what he is. Okay. Yes. All right. Thanks for the call, dear. Uh, Diana. Yeah. How many? How many kids before you say no to a guy? If he has one kid, okay lang. If he has two kids, well, it's um. Three kids. Guy had three kids. I don't. I, I don't really care if the guy has kids as long as I'm in love with him. Uh-huh. But I've never had a boyfriend that has has kids or has you know a wife had a wife before or something like that. Would you be able to go out with a guy who had four or five kids? If I'm really in love with him, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm just, that romantic. I, I just, no, because I just didn't know like, if yeah. girls had a limit. Like, okay, one kid. Everybody has one kid almost no, these days. No, you know about. what? My best friend, um, she's married with this guy who has four kids. And they're happily married. Is her and name Priscilla Marie Ellis? No, no. no oh, she, she isn't. Um, <laughs> I won't mention her name. She okay. Married. Well, people know about it. Anyway, um, um yeah, she's happily married, and now she's she's pregnant. So it means the guy's gonna have his fifth kid, and like mm-hmm. that, you know, you can't judge people. Yeah. All right. It just, you know, you just have kids. Right. <laughs> so what, you know, anak Yeah, yeah. What do you got? <laughs> All right, Isaac. Love <laughs> I, I, Isaac, you're 18. What's up? Okay, so uh, actually, ako ako nina ako sa mukha nina pero disconnect lang So uh, hi, uh, hi mo, hi do kind, hi Diana. Yeah, what's up? Okay, so. Uh, this is my question. Actually, uh, I'm 18 right now. What a problem is, uh, hindi ko alam kung bakit hindi pa ako na fall in love o hindi pa ako na in love. You're 18. It's not like there's some sort of urgency that you have to fall in love. But I think I asked you earlier. Do you, do you have a big crush? Um, actually, yeah. That's that's the problem. Since when I was a child, elementary pa lang, parang hindi ko talaga nararamdaman yung ma in love sa ka, sa kung kanino man. E eh, di ba sa generation natin ngayon? Usually, mga bata pa lang, may mga girlfriend, boyfriend na sila. So, parang nagtataka lang ako sa sarili ko na parang bakit hindi ko pa nararamdamang ma-inlove sa isang tao. It'll come. You're, you're 18. It's still too early to panic, yeah. hit the panic button mm-hmm. about not finding someone you're in love with. Um, it's still too early to say. A lot of, a lot of us fall in love when we're 14, 15. It's yeah, come. It's, right? it's bo-
jokes. Yeah, Isaac, don't, don't worry about Enjoy it. Enjoy your life. Yeah. How old were you when you first f- truly fell in love, Diana? Um, I think I was 16. And, and at that moment, you thought... I was were... like so in love. Most it? of the time, it's like that, you know. The yeah. first time you fall in love, you think it's... The world is crumbled on you. Yes. And it's, this, this is the only... You're the only people in the world, right? Yeah. Yes, well, and, and, whether, and that happens whether you're 16 or whether you're 45. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. That's just the way it's going to be. How about you, Mo? What? When was the How first time you really yeah. fell in oh, love? First girlfriend, you know, 14, things like that, 15. You're like, mm-hmm. oh my God, this is the best thing ever. So, I mean, it just that's just yeah. the feeling that people get. Isaac, it'll come to you in just a little bit. TJ, you're 21. What's up? TJ. TJ is gone. Let's go to uh, let's go to Robert, who has a question for Diana. Robert, what's up? Hello. Yeah, Robert, you have a question for Diana. Ah, uh, yes. Um, Go hello, good evening. Yeah. Hi. All right. Um, uh, to Miss Diana, I just want to know: Was there ever been a time that uh, you felt really discouraged, or something just broke you down? You say you, you want to pack up and uh, head back home. Yeah, a lot of times. Like everybody has those, you know, down times that you feel like. Oh shit! I want to go home. You know, like yeah. I want to give up on this. But that's life. That those are challenges. And like for me, nam parang wala. You just have to face it. The, like this week, this week naman eh, because I just you know I just pursue my own condo, and then like I'm having so many problems with the renovation, and then I was like, you know what? I want to go home, and then I just realized like you know what? I'm just gonna face it. Yeah. I'm gonna get a new contractor, and then I'm just gonna you know go to work. Because anyway, it doesn't matter how you feel. You just yeah. have to live your life. What, you're going to go back home and it's going to change? No. That's right. So now, it's just like You that. know, that's what makes you a real person yeah. is when you know how to cope up with things. Yes. And that's what makes you sane. If you can't, for example, just want to give up in every bit of problem that comes to you, then I guess you, you're, you, don't, you don't have to be with the society. You have to be confined in a room and then um, all padded up. Okay. Uh, Diana, how did you end up getting in the Philippines anyway? I- I'm sure you tell the story all the time, but what's what's the route for 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 somebody who's come from South America, which is which really really far from here? Yeah. Well, how do you um, end up in a country the other halfway side across? Of the world, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, almost yeah, exactly. Uh, well, um, I-, I lived in six countries, and like um, that was a crazy thing because um, I had everything back home. Like my dad has a factory of shoes and bags, mm-hmm. so I used to work with him. And I was in a- my university. I was like in my third semester, and then like. I got an offer for a commercial in Thailand. Okay. And then I told my dad, "Hey, I'm going to Thailand to do a commercial." He's like, "Are you crazy? You're not. You're <laughs> not fucking leaving my country. You're not leaving the house. You're working with us. I'm paying for your studies. You know, like everything." I was like, "I don't care. I'm going. I'm 18. I'm going." Hey, but you guys so, are okay now. He's proud of me now, Fantastic. but in the beginning, he was like. You are such a brat. You know what are you doing with your life? And he was like, "You're not gonna make it." And then now, like he's like, "Oh, I'm proud of it." Like I heard that uh, he doesn't yeah. tell. Me. Of course, he's a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not gonna tell that to me straight. So it, my uh, stepmom told me that sometimes when he's really drunk, he's like, he cries. Oh, I miss my, I miss my <laughs> baby girl. You know, like. <laughs> How many siblings are you? Um. Well, from my mom and my dad, I'm the only one. But my ah, dad okay. got married again and then he has two kids. I got you. Now, yeah. when you came here to the country, you spoke Filipino zero. I'm assuming, yeah. Even English. Zero. Wow. No yeah. English. No Filipino. I learned Sweet. everything here. Yeah. That's Why awesome. the Philippines? Um, I I have a best friend who is from the Philippines, the one I told you, the one who got married mm-hmm. with the yeah. guy who had has four kids. Um, I came to the Philippines to do a commercial as well, and um, after that I fell in love with the country. I made friends, and even going around the world for modeling and you know all those stuff, I kept on coming back and mm-hmm. I visit them, and then I came for the wedding, and mm-hmm. then somebody offered me a showbiz mm-hmm. career, and then how many I Braz- went. how many of the Brazilians go back? Because there are a few of you that are succeeding, but how many of you guys turn around and just head back? I don't think... Like 50% or... Because you know, there's so many... There's so many. When the first time I came, we were like only 30. Like, I think now we are like 70. Okay, and, sure, how, and how many just say, you know what, screw it, I'm going back to San Paulo or whatever? No, no, they go it. everywhere. Like, They'll they, try they somewhere just, else. They, they just stay for like three months and then they go... I, I know this is a uh, more this is more Brazil talk here real quick before we take a break. Yeah. I hear Brazil while while just right now right now they are just amazing in terms of the economic uh, prowess they're doing so well as a country. Yeah. But there are places there that are fucking violent like like crazy violent. Those are in the movies, you know. Like it's not really like that. I okay. mean, 
Well, of course, e- everywhere there's the violent right. places and there are the squatter area and all. But that's what they most focus on they, when they show movies. Like, yeah. you know, they shot Twilight recently there. Oh, the really? The latest one, yeah. And also Fast and Furious. But, you know, you're watching a movie like City of God or something like yeah, that. Yeah, City of fucking, God is like so... F- crazy. It's yeah, fucking, I, place I, is nuts. I feel bad because, like, <laughs> they give a, such a bad impression mm-hmm. about our country. But there are ama- amazing places there that it's not just like that, you know? Yeah. And... Best ass in the world. Oh, All right, thanks. let's take a break. When we come back, we'll just go to the last bunch of phone calls because it's almost uh, 12.30 here. Diana Manessis on the show. Again, just a few more calls, and then we'll call back whoever we thought was call of the night to win the big prize. Don't go away. Back after this. We'll see you in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dong, oh. Waiter, sa pangasan Meg Light bucket? Pare, anong pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o beach house ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho. Ay. Maganda ang gabi, pagmasaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa tiyan, San Mig Light. Drink moderate. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast, so visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, the e-mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin at Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bello Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle. No approved therapeutic claims. One of the saddest things on earth would probably be eating alone. Sure, there are times when you just want some quiet time munching something, but there's nothing like sharing a meal with family or friends. Now, have you been to Fridays lately? You absolutely have to check out their new plates. You have a lot of options, and the prices are actually not that bad. The Cajun chicken spring rolls are unreal. Southern style crab cakes, south of the border hummus, oh man, delicious. And the list goes on and on. Spinach and cheese nachos, pork tenderloin and bacon. Are you drooling now? Rush to the nearest TGI Fridays branch near you and bring your friends. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. If you want to snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo, then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page, too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club. Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the Blackberry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to Blackberry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. 
I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? I have the new Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to stream. Ooh. Or download songs on my phone now. Makunag naman sa Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any Smart Wireless Center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Bro. Hi, this is Hillary Clinton, and you're listening to Good Times with Mo, Philippine genius. 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 Good Times with Mo, the podcast, the podcast, is brought to you by San Mig Light and powered by Smart Bro. Call the show, 659-6969. All right, we're back on the show here. We have, that was our last uh, commercial break, so we will take calls and we will wrap it up. Diana Manessis on the program. Diana, thanks for being here. We still got, what, five calls. We'll try to get all of them. But what I want to ask you, though, Diana, is we have to choose caller of the night. Who, which, from, from memory, which ones did you like? <laughs> I like the Jenna Gibbs girl. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Pat. Yes, Mo. Can you call back? I think her name was Sam, the girl who said she had an affair with Jono Gibbs. Yeah, okay, no problem. Can you call her back, get her on the phone, and then we're going to go and uh, see if she can win a, a big prize here. Okay. Thanks, Pat. Appreciate it. All right, let's get to the phones. We have one, two, three, four, five calls. Let's see if we could even get all of them. Um, let's try Liv, who's 24. She's on a cell phone. Fairview, you've been on home for 10 minutes. What's up, Liv? Liv? Yeah? Yeah, hi, you're on the show. What's going on? Okay, hello? Yes, Liv. Listen to mm-hmm. the phone, okay? Well, what's up? Okay. I'm watching the... Okay, TV Liv, don't here. watch it. Listen to the phone, dear, because there's a okay. delay. That's how it works in the business. Okay. All right, go. Hello. Liv, God hey, damn yes, it. hello. Stop listening to the computer and listen to the phone, Liv. Yeah, I am. Okay. Um, wh- I turned it off. Thank you. What's going on? Um... Am I, am I on there already? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, you are. Live, dear. live. I'm going to hang yes, up on I'm you. I'm sorry. Okay, go. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I have a question for Mo. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd like to ask him if you have the same opinion as my boyfriend. All right. Because uh, uh, he told me that uh, uh, para for him daw to to trust my decisions kung narin si pagdating sa amin sa relationship dapat mas kasi kumbaga mas uh, kasi experience ko daw siya say sexually parang ganun kasi kumbaga siya nakarami na siyang mga girls and so girls he's saying, before he's saying if you want the whole spectrum of the relationship kung you want you want the total package you need to have sex with him yeah I, I, we do naman okay. the point is parang kumbaga Ang point is, kunyari, if he says, kunyari sa akin na, okay yung, kunyari, okay yung session natin, ganyan. And kunyari, sabihin ko sa kanya na okay, mas, mas may bearing daw yung statement niya compared to mine. So parang na-relate din na, kunyari, when I do, kunyari, uh, decisions, pagdating sa amin, mas, mas magta-trust daw siya dun sa magiging decision ko, if, if kumbaga, uh, I have no idea what sexually, Liv, I have no idea what you're talking about. What, yeah, are, you, what yeah. are you saying? Mm-hmm. Say, say it in one breath, and say it. I, don't give so many. You're you're you're, you're all over the place. Just say it. We, we're on we're on a internet show. We don't have to worry mm-hmm. about the words. Just go. Just fucking throw it out of your mouth. What do you want? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I'm just quite. I'm just nervous. Sorry, no, you know. I, yeah, I know you're nervous, but we're we're all over the place. Try to try yeah, to okay. get a grip I here. One more. Go ahead. Say so we had this conversation because we na uh, about about kung how how we do how we do sex ganyan. and we both agreed naman na na parang we we enjoy each other ganyan. Okay. So tapos parang napag-usapan din kasi na. Uh, before pa na parang we talk about marriage na din. Okay. So parang sabi niya, as we parang habang tumatagal kami, um, may meron parang nagkakaroon daw siya ng doubts pagdating sa mga pagdating sa mga decisions ko. Okay. Dahil uh, I'm not as experienced as him. In sex? Mm-mm, yeah. So parang ako, valid ba yun? Na parang... 
No. Uh, listen, listen. Yeah. The few, okay, having a healthy sexual relationship is important for your relationship to succeed. But if everything is based, if every decision, every um, issue is sex related, if it goes all the way back to sex, I say, well, you don't have enough experience sexually, then, 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 then he's fucking stupid. Yeah. Sex is not the basis, you know. I think naman kasi na hindi naman talaga doon solely so na binibase yung, yung opinion niya about us. Pero yun yung so sabi mo eh. Yeah, naiinus lang kasi ako. Actually, nung isang gabi lang namin siya napag-usapan. So parang, okay, so after parang more than two years, parang ngayon ka pa nagda-doubt because of that. So parang ang gusto niya kasing gawin ko is, uh, kumbaga, hindi naman sa mag-break kami or something. Ang gusto niya na kunyari, explore explore may parang explore other options may again tapos parang other options and what though what do you mean yeah. this is too vague well, uh, other options and what yun nga hindi like, parang kunyari sabi niya okay Lendo if kunyari malaman niya na malaman niya na I had sex with someone ganyan ganyan though syempre initial reaction niya eh, syempre magagalit siya what do you yeah. call this yeah. kind of guy, Demo? The douchebag. Yeah. Live. He's an <laughs> asshole. Please. Uh, there, a lot of you girls are tolerating these guys, these douchebags who associate things with sex too much. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, sex is important, but if you're going to have a decision based on like what, where you're going to have dinner tonight, and then you're like, oh, I want Chinese, and he wants Japanese, well, you want Chinese because you don't have enough sex, and you're like, you know, it, it, it's stupid. Get rid of this is guy. Mm-hmm. Get rid of him. Actually, that's the, yun din yung point ko. Kaya, kaya sobrang niinis ako nung sinabi niya yun. So, eh, I haven't had, had the chance din naman to talk with my guy friends pa. So, ayun, since recently lang nga din naman. So, naiinis lang ako. Pero kasi sa kanya kasi, kasama kasi sa priority niya sa relationship yung sex. I know aside it's a priority, from, but, but, okay, listen, Liv, Liv, we're gonna hang up already because we gotta go. Uh, okay. Yes, sex is a pri- it's, it's it's a priority in any relationship, but it's not the basis of everything, and that's what he's making of it. Now, if that's the case, this is not a good guy. Just fucking leave him or, or give him a chance to to, dr- to drastically change. And if he doesn't drastically change soon, you leave him. Okay. Okay. More than two years now. Yeah. I don't give a shit. It's two years. Two years is nothing. Leave him. Talk to him and then leave him if yeah. he's not going to change. All right? Thanks for the call. Um, let us go with uh, Yen, who's 21. Yen, what's up? Hey. Hey, what, what's going on? Hi, hi, Mo. Hi. What's up? Hi, Diana. It's my hi. first time. Okay, your question? Okay. My question is for all yeah. all of you. Because you said Mo kanina, yung ibang girls hindi naman complain about small penis, right? Yeah. But mine, I had a boy... My boyfriend ako for seven years and my small na penis. Okay. But I'm not complaining. I'm just... <laughs> I'm trying to say something mo. <laughs> um, wala kasi ako. Um, hello. Yeah. Is it's my first then sa kanya. Oh my god. So you haven't even seen a real penis, yeah. have you? Oh, yeah. oh shit. That's why. Yeah, you <laughs> Nakikita ko lang sa mga movie and <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, those those are massive. All right. So you don't get pleasure from his small penis, but you love yes. him. You love him a lot. Yes. And okay. I, I won't leave him no man. Okay, listen. 4 inches is is small. It's not yes. the end of the world, small. Because is that, wait, is that when it's um, erected? Yeah, erect. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Diana's like, oh, <laughs> Did you have any bad experience when you were young? 
I don't think that there's a relation. I think what what she's saying is she just wants she to doesn't be feel. able to enjoy it more. Yeah. It's not like she doesn't love him. Listen, do you get orgasms though? Because he, does he go down on you, or does he do other things where you can at least have an orgasm? Yes, but minsan kasi lagi yung sa kanya lang lagi yung ganon. Yeah, I know. That's why you have to tell him. You, and you sabi mo naman he knows. He knows he has a small penis. You have to say, yeah. listen. Um, yes, sinasabi ko naman sa kanya, pero ang question ko ako, yung paano pag kami na, kasi minsan hindi mo naman mapipilit yung guy, diba? Kapag, I know, that's why he has to make sure that you get satisfied first. Kasi he's the one on the losing end because he's got a small penis. He should know that. If I have a small penis, the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I'm a expert at oral sex. That I, that I make sure that you have an orgasm first before I insert my tiny penis in you and, and then do, and do, do the deed. Try to compensate. I mean, Diana, yeah. like, would, you break up a, would you break up with a guy for a small penis? Um, first of all, I wouldn't have a... <laughs> okay. You wouldn't have a boyfriend with a small penis? <laughs> no, no, man. It's just that... that um, requirement? <laughs> no, no, man. Requirement. It's just that, yeah, okay, it's not really... About, like, like I said, it's not about the size, but... Hey, try it out first before you get into a relationship <laughs> with someone you're not gonna be satisfied when yeah, you're. Can I can I see? Yeah, can I see first? Okay, okay. All right, puede. No, no, you're gone. No, the thing is, Diana, if if your boyfriend or if a guy you're dating has a small penis, but he made sure that you're satisfied in other ways, is that good enough? Yeah, of course. So make sure you go. Listen, boyfriend, we all know you have a small penis, but you, I have orgasm before with you. Why don't you concentrate on that more? Yeah. Para you don't feel so bad about the small Kisses penis. Size. I don't. Oh, huh? I don't feel bad about the small penis. Everybody's okay with the small penis because okay. every because he's gonna have an he's gonna ejaculate anyway. But here's the thing. Para kasi sa akin yung mas pleasurable yung sex hindi yung. I know, I know, but the thing is. Yeah, mas okay pa yung. Okay, but my question right. is how would you know that it's pleasurable when he's the first guy that you've been with and then you haven't feel anything on him while doing it? No, I think he she's I think she okay. feels it. She right. just says sometimes it's but nothing is going yeah. on and sometimes uh-huh. there is. Listen, you can go to the sex shop. I've never I've mm. never heard anybody try this, but it's there. I've seen it. You can get a penis extender. That you put oh. on the tip of your penis really? to make it bigger. Yes. I've never, so I've never, I don't know. I, I don't know. Ngay. So, 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 glue yun. I don't, don't, know don't how worry kung maiwan yun because you can always scoop it out. No, yeah, and yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, oh nah, can, what if it gets stuck? No, no, it's there. You, you can just get it out. Like, don't worry that it's going to go to the yeah. intestines. No, I think it, it might be put on like a condom is put on where you roll it in and then there's okay. a, just an, like a hard extender out there. You can think about that. You can maybe think about getting a vibrator where you go, okay, you, he gives you oral sex, you have an orgasm, he, you guys have sex, he has an orgasm, and then you guys pull out a vibrator and play with it together. Okay. Okay? You can do there either of There are a lot of, of ways you can play. It's not just about the size. It's not, it's not just about the penis. Yes, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, then, then do something about it. Get, get, yeah. get a toy involved, okay? Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. We got to wrap things up, boy. We have four calls to go. Let's just go to the caller of the night real quick. Sam, you're back on the show. Hello. Hi, Sam. You're yeah. the, the one who had sex with Jono. Now, allegedly, uh, <laughs> you have three bo- three jars here to choose from. Uh, one of them has a cell phone. One of them has a TV. Both from Samsung. One of them has San Miglite, uh gift packs. Which one do you want? Mm, I'll pick three. Three. All right, Diana. Can you open jar number mm-hmm. three here? And you go ahead and show to the camera what she has won. Okay. Sam, you are the winner of a... Oh, my. What is it? Here. Can you go ahead and say it? Samsung LCD TV. Samsung LCD TV. Yeah. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yes. Now you can watch Jono every Sunday and I watch know. it in a bigger screen television. I know. Celebrity. All right. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. What dear. if it's not true? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Listen, Sam, Sam, yeah. Sam. The the show is over. Yeah. You've already won a huge prize. Mm. So in 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 actuality, you've won. You've beat us. I'm still we, gonna get the TV. Are you? You're, you're, sure I you're promise you, you're still gonna get the TV. Is this a true story or not? No, I got you guys. Fuck you. We're taking oh the TV back. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're taking the uh, TV back. You know back. what? Honestly. Come on. No. Listen, guess what? Guess who lied also? Me. We're taking oh, it back. Oh, 
Yeah. Sorry. Oh my god. You know, so let's go to the the one who has a problem because the 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 thing is so big. <laughs> the, the, the big the big thing is gone. Oh, maybe no, no. he's lying too. Come on. Okay, Sam, be honest. Oh, is come it, be on. on. Be Sam, honest. Be honest. Don't Sam, be scared. It, yeah. be, don't be scared because I know that you you're probably freaking out. Is this yeah. a true story or not? Be honest. Sam. I think it's true. You know why? Mm. Why? I, I, she would put me more. <laughs> I have more trouble than you right now because I am from the same station and he might just say like, Diana, what are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> you know no, what I mean? it's not true. Okay, Sam, well, it's is, not it, true. is it true or not? We're gonna, I swear to God, we're, we're going to remove the television. But you know why I think it's true? It's because you told me what kind of car he had downstairs waiting and, and you were specific about that. Who knows? Maybe I'm a stalker. No, you're fucking yeah. lying. It's yeah. true, come Sam. On. Sam, yeah, Sam, Sam, be oh, honest. I, fucking be honest. Yeah, I pro- to listen to body. my voice. I'm fucking yeah. serious. I will remove that television. <laughs> Poor John, no, come on, you guys. This is not true. Mm-hmm. Why did you make up this story then? Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't get it. Why? Sam. Sam. What? Why did you make up the story? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, Sam? I think it's see? true, but you just, you're maybe, just scared. Why? Maybe Gina called You're her. scared. Did you get a phone call? Yeah. <laughs> Sam, did you get a phone call from Jono? Or from... He doesn't know. I've been getting phone calls. Come on. Okay. Oh, why? Everybody knows about your affair with him. Or maybe it's not John who called her. No, you got caught, didn't you? No, yeah, I can fuck. You got fucking caught, didn't you? <laughs> so you got caught on the show. So yeah. you were. The- <laughs> so now you're trying to save yourself, right? <laughs> yeah. Sam. What? You got caught, right? Hmm. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. See? All right. <laughs> she's telling the truth. Kakainis no. I also magot. She's telling the truth. Sam, I'm giving you last chance. But were you telling the truth or not? Magtagalog no, lang. Huh? No, I'm not. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Ah. Woo. All right. Thank you, dear. All right. We'll get rid of you. Um, Diana, we have two calls. You, can you do it? Yeah. Let's go. Um, really fast. Celia, you're 22. Quickly, go. Oh, sorry. Have, Celia, go. Quick. Okay. I have my um, experience with my ex. Um, I kiss my guy right now had a kiss and tell me telling my ex boyfriend that my you know my organ is too smelly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you have an ex boyfriend who told your current boyfriend that you have a stinky vagina? Ah uh, no, uh, vice versa. My thingy um, guy right now talk to my ex and then. Okay, so uh, yeah. do, what's the question? Do, how do you cure your stinky vagina, or what are you going to do about this boyfriend? Yes, what am I going to do to my previous boyfriend? Okay. I want to get him back and then want to win her trust. Oh, so you like the, the ex, not the, the <laughs> current one? No. Break up with your current boyfriend, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So why, if, why did, okay, sorry, sorry, Dad. Why did you break up with the last boyfriend? Um, because I like the new one sexually. Okay. But, but the thing is, my ex-boyfriend is so insane of me. Um, and he's a, good, he's a better guy. He loved yes. you more. Yes. Okay, uh, that's a good question, Diana. Would you go out with a guy who was great to you but was terrible in bed, or a guy who's great in bed but not as good to you? Um, I had a guy who was great in bed, but um, no, you know, I would go for a guy who's good for me, not just yeah. great in bed. Cool. Sex is not everything. And your current boyfriend, the one who's great in bed, just told your ex-boyfriend mm-hmm. you has stinky mm-hmm. vagina, which makes oh, him an that's asshole. That's so yeah. stupid. That's yeah. such a yeah. stupid and thing. And then letting my current guy, letting my ex-boyfriend, which is I love, uh, show my uh, our bold pictures. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, including you, my vagina, which is, I don't know how... Is how there like steam coming that. out of the vagina in the photos? <laughs> no? Okay. Yeah. Do you have, wait, wait, wait. Do you, need a, do you want to ask doctor about your stinky vagina or it doesn't stink? Um, I think I just want to ask because I'm too curious about Just in case you do. Doc, smelly vaginas. Um, can be fungal infection. Okay, so get it checked. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Should vaginas smell bad anyway? Um, well, the whole day without washing, it will smell. Okay. <laughs> but, 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 but a healthy <laughs> vagina should not smell at all. Um, it, it will have a smell, but does not, it's not supposed to stink the whole... The, I mean, when you're in a room, it, won't, it should not stink the whole room. Why don't you guys just take a shower before you have yeah, sex? Yeah, take a shower. Oh. Maybe actually, you're just... I'm doing it, but actually I'm shaking now. I'm too shy. There's, there's only um, a few 
instances where your vagina would stink and one of them would be a fungal infection. So maybe ah. perhaps what you can do is just go go um, see a doctor and then an OBGYN and then um, get a pap smear mm-hmm. and then and have it checked. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of it. It's it's, it's a normal procedure. But emotionally speaking, why would you stay, stay with a guy that says that your vagina stinks? You know, like this is... Uh, yeah, don't actually, you feel bad about it? I mean... Yeah, it's actually so, um, what I did is... Um, that was just a secret between my ex-boyfriend and me. Maybe he's doing that so that you're not going to go back to the other... Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just... He's just acting out. It's a ploy, yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right? Uh-huh. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. We gotta go. The last two calls. I'm sorry. Let me go. Daniel. Daniel. Hello. Can you call back tomorrow? Just tomorrow. Yeah, because we're running out. Of, we ran out of time. We're way over time already. All right. Okay, call but back I tomorrow. just want to say something. Yeah. Uh, that Janda go- that Janda Gibbs get her, uh, caller was a fake one, but this is true. I have Janda Gibbs car before. <laughs> you have? Oh, I don't. Okay, thank you. We'll talk to you tomorrow, <laughs> Daniel. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Rain, you're 25. Rain. Yes. Can we, Can you call back tomorrow, dear? Okay. Sorry about that. We just ran out of time today. Thank you, though. Thank you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Diana Manessis, excellent job. Thank you very much for being here. We appreciate the honesty, the openness, the opinions, and stuff like that. We get, you know, we get a lot of celebrities that come by here. Everybody's been great. You've been really, really good too. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank Thanks you. Thank you so time. much. I know you're really busy and stuff, but really, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Follow me on Twitter. It's the D Made in Brazil, and um, yeah, watch my shows if you guys can. <laughs> what happened to your first Twitter? Um, I had to delete. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Jealousy, you know, like no way. Uh, yeah, yeah. On Twitter, mind. yeah. Who was it? Come on, was it my friend? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Yeah. All right, all right. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the program tomorrow. Leia Salonga. Uh, for sure, you guys all know her. Uh, she is uh, one of the best, if not the best, singer that has come out of this country. She is fantastic. We're going to be uh, having her on the program, taking your calls as well. So. Wait for that. I want to thank uh, San Mig Light, the 100 calorie low uh, low cal beer. Um, it, it's a wonderful product. Uh, as Diana just said it. she loves it. We love it. It's it's, it's great. Yeah. So, uh, Smart Bro also. All the other major sponsors and people who uh, advertise. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys tomorrow, Doctor Gan. Night, guys. See you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have a great night. Bye bye, everyone. Bye, Listen. guys. Night. Thank you. Good, night. Good times with all the podcasts. <coughs> Sorry, you can download this off of iTunes. Whoa. Somebody's headphones. You can uh, t- take this off. Uh, you can, Jesus, I'm deaf. You can download this off iTunes as well as uh, motwister.com, sandmiglight.com.ph. Bye bye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was brought to you by San Mig Light. Executively produced by Mohan Gumata. Engineered by Miguel Alfindo. And operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Dr. Gan Montenegro, Larry Carlat, and Magic 89.9. <laughs> Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is a battle axe production. Recorded at the Smart Bro Studios in Manila, Philippines. You can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com. Website www.motwister.com. 